So everything he does has has always some kind of backdoor deal that he wants to work, uh, uh, be able to uh, abuse. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Always, always, right. It's always a malicious intent. Yeah. I got right. that. Uh, got that in there. Uh, Second Thessalonians chapter five, verse nine in the NLT. This man will come to do the work of, of Satan with counterfeit power and signs and miracles. Right, counterfeit powers, man. You know, fake uh, miracles. Right. Right. All these things are artificial. Everything you see, all the so-called great wonders, you know, they're all rooted in false means. You know? right. right. They haven't been given the true power, man. They've been given you know, the power on the left-hand side, but at the end of the day, they have no, no true, uh, uh, no work, man. Even technology, man. That's why they call it what? AI, artificial intelligence. Right. Right. Then after the Edomite have the seed, in fact, second half is nine and nine. Then it should be a pitiful case. Then y'all gonna be a pitiful case, man. After this devil done showed y'all all this lying wonders and miracles, y'all fall for head first. Think that you know it's gonna be benefit you all. You will be found out you're gonna be a pitiful case. Which they abuse my ways and that they have passed them to spite me. To dwell in torment. See, all you have used most high way with the pit and all that, thinking that you know, looking at this white man, thinking he's some kind of savior, y'all gonna dwell in torment, man, because y'all abused most high way. By the means was out here preaching and teaching, kept on walking, going to your restaurant. You didn't, you didn't want to uh, keep the knowledge with my student, they was, you know, spilling out of their mouths, the like, you didn't want to get, but yet you want to go up these motels and taste booty, drink beer, whatever you might do. For so such in their life, they'll receive benefits. All your life, you receive benefits, most of you. Good jobs, y'all women, y'all get it. Government system this, government system that. He's all and gave you a little bit of piece of the pie, a little, little power, you know, up in the corporate, the corporate world, you know, running this and running that. That's the benefit you have received. See? And they have loathed my law while they had liberty. You hated the most high law while you get why you free to do what you want to do. You didn't want to hear it. You don't want to uh, uh, no part of it. You run from it. You stalk, you scorn, you mock, you laugh at the men and the Lord. What them things y'all got on dresses? Ha ha ha. See? That's what y'all doing. That's what y'all, you know, doing now. When yet his place of repentance was open to them, understood not, but despite. See right now. Repentance is open to y'all. Y'all, you know, free. Y'all free to think, free to do what you want to do. You're still under the grace. And right now, you don't want to hear the word. Just like I say, just like we're telling you. Y'all don't want to listen. Yeah, right now, they, they can't held under the whole uh, scrutiny of the law. You right. know, and with the sign that they're doing, man, what the hell are they doing, man? Wow. Look how they're conducting themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like straight up devils, man. It's like straight up Esau, man. Uh, scriptures say that our people have surpassed the East. Yeah. Right. Another one says, uh, there's a sport to a fool to do with him. Yeah. Or to do mystery. That's right. And when he had yet place of repentance was open to them, understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. Y'all don't know it. When the system collapsed, when this damn Esau Go around, you know, sparing none like a madman, like a rabid, you know, beast, destroying, you know, and killing all these jakes, putting you in fever camps, and doing whatever he want to do with you. Y'all would know that by death by pain. The most high sickness devil loose on This is the book of Sirach, also known as the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 14, verse 5. He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? Right, you, see, you see Esau over here treating his own people, got his own people in the same gutter as we do, man. This is in the same pit. So what makes you think he's going to try to uh, show favor unto you? Especially in that time that we're coming into, man. Y'all got a delusion, man. Y'all really believe that this man's your friend. This man, this man has changed, changed his ways. This man is different now. Because we're living in a different time doesn't mean this man is different. This man's still the same ass, wicked ass motherfucker that put y'all in chains. Y'all trusting them. 
that's what I'm saying. Also, so you never trust thine enemy, man. So all you individuals out there, you know, if you're trusting your enemy, this devil don't even do good to his own people. Right. Because when he come with that palisade, he gonna also get his own people, man. Yeah. You other uh, uh, lower class Edomites, man. Adam, let's put a Rule three and three and eight. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Yes, you guys still got us in captivity. No, Jake, you're not free. It's like you say, they got their own people in captivity too, working right along beside you in slavery over here in America. Man. That is how wicked the damn devil is. He's on here, the damn Bible speaker of our white man. Looking down on his own people. That's what we get first of all. This is one of This is the book. So what? This is the book of Sirach, chapter 14, verse 5, and it reads, He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? He shall not take pleasure in his goods. He said he will not take pleasure in his goods, but the most is going to take him out of place, man. He's not going to be able to enjoy you know, the, the, the full uh, establishment that he's about to set up. His whole hegemony is about to be taken away. Jeremiah 13 and 23. Can an Ethiopian change his skin or a leopard his spots? Then may he also do good that are accustomed to do evil. So favorable to the wicked, yet would he not learn righteousness. This man, he's in power, man. Favor was shown unto him. Look how he conducted himself, man. Pure wickedness. Everything he's, he's gained, everything he's got was by the sword, man. Rape, robbery, and murder. You know? So this man is still the same man. And soon enough, once uh, things, uh, society starts to collapse, you're going to start seeing you know, these average little Edomites start showing their horns, man. Y'all Jake's are uh, right hand in hand with them. You know? Over here siding with Esau. Don't want to receive salvation because Esau can't take, can't, can't, uh, can't get it. Hey, y'all gonna learn that day, man. Like, y'all gonna witness it firsthand. Y'all gonna have firsthand, or uh, uh, y'all gonna be firsthand witnesses to that, man. Y'all gonna get back to that, man. Esau, man. Esau was never, never had your back in the first place, man. And yet y'all wanna go over here and stop with this man. Rock, also known as the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 10. It reads, Never trust thine enemy. It says, Never trust thine enemy, man. For like his iron rusted, so is his wickedness. You see that? So this devil here, you know, the scripture is telling you to never trust your enemy, man. You know, what part of, of that, you know, uh, don't Jake get? So when Esau went on and, and uh, made the juice mandatory, right? Jake went right down here, he got it. Tell you all, do he humble himself and grow crouchy? Yet take good heed of the way of him, and thou shalt be unto him as thou hast rightly looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust hath not been altogether wiped right away. So you're going to soon, but soon see that this double he is wicked, man. Right. right? Who's the one that's polluting the air, man? Who's the one that's polluting the water? Who's the one that's ready to go ahead and push that palisade for the MOTV, man? Right? Who is that? Scripture tell you that uh, 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 the earth is given to the hands of the wicked to cover the face of the judges thereof and not when. Who is it? So who is it? And who did that? You know? I'll tell you all. Verse 12. So Mark chapter 12, verse 12. Set him not by thee. See that? Scripture tell you to. Yeah, God. This is the book of Sirach chapter 12, verse 11. Though he humbled himself and broke out you, yet take Good heed and beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him as thou hast wiped like has wiped a looking glass. Thou shalt know that his rust has not been altogether wiped away. In the Good News translation, it reads, uh, so like it, it says, "Watch out and be on guard against him, man. Right? Watch out and see what this devil is doing, man. Right? You know what he said about me? He said, <laughs> "Take good heed." Pay attention to what's going on out here, man. That's right. Right? Pay attention to what you see these devils putting in place, man. The various, uh, uh, what's the word? Yeah, uh, wicked sign. Uh, 
amendments and things that they're passing through laws, man. Right, all the various things that they do in order to, to, to bring our people down, man. And ultimately to gain control as those have been going into. Right? And all and which is all leading to the MOTV at the end of the day. All these things that you're seeing, you're supposed to be taking heed of these devils, man, and avoiding them like the plague, man. Showed you a little taste of the dress code we've lost in my people. They ain't gonna be able to work. They ain't gonna be able to uh, pay your pay for food. They ain't gonna be able to do nothing unless you get that MOT. But hey, this, this time it's going to be the punishment of death. You know, the, 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 the punishment is gonna be getting beheaded. And if you don't take this thing, you put your ass, find your ass up on the top of the block, the guillotine, and boom. And even if they don't physically kill you, Whatever you had that connected you to this world, you're not going to be able to maintain that without acquiring the MOTV. Yeah, that's pretty much you're going to be what they call off grid. Now, you ain't going to be connected to the grid because the only way to be connected is if you get that MOTV. That's right. Right? That's right. The devil, he took millions, millions of people. He didn't take his own kind. Psalm 6, 9, 21. The words of his mouth was smoother than butter. Can't y'all believe that? Oh, you take this MOT, and I say this, uh, this, this 19 that you're going to live, you're going to be uh, protected and everything. He smoothed that on, you jakes, man. The words of his mouth was smooth as butter, but war was in his heart. See, war was in his heart. I always get you, man. Bring you down. A lot of you died by that, man. A lot of you still died. A lot of you. Taking time bombs walking around. It's gonna drop dead any minute, any second. You don't, you don't know. You don't know what this man put in this stuff. And y'all get it, kids, and took it. In the middle of law, we tried to tell y'all, warn y'all. We said out of law, don't take it, and y'all did. A lot of you spit words. That's right. That's what happened. Trust the Egypt. Yeah. That's right. His words were softened in oil, yet they drew drawn swords. See, his words were softened in oil. He humbled himself. He told, he went crouching. Got you to take it. It's like you don't get you to take the MOTV. Yeah, I don't. But saw it with his mouth. See? Same thing. Bring it out, man. All right, Bill, what is going on? Hey, show the one out there. <laughs> Straight up. It broke? Nah, it broke. Alright. We're gonna get rolling, man. Alright, hey, we the brothers Jim and Charlotte. Alright, out here to bring it out. The spirit of power, you help us to know shot. Alright, before we get started with this camp, we're gonna give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Hill Son who taught us the truth. Double citations to all you out came out there laboring in the house of David, the elect. This push of this word we call truth, righteousness, and sincerity. Shall the one to you, brothers. Shall the one to the elect. Right? Hey, we are here to prophesy week in and week out as we were commanded to do from the Spirit. Power Yahweh Bashim uh to give this word to the Israelites, all right? Sons of the power. Okay, to, 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 uh, to prepare you for the what? To the times of the end? Right? The trials and tribulations that we have to go through in order to obtain the kingdom of heaven, man. So we just wanted to speak about the faith real quick. Give me Ephesians 2 and 8, right? Because it's going to require a big faith to get through these times, man. And we got to have, we got to exercise that same faith as our forefathers did, man. Right. See? This is the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verse 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of of the most high it is the gift of the most high man and everybody was blessed with the gift of faith man right right the fact that you believe and you fear your how about shim yahweh shah that you have the ability to see the prophecies man. that's that's major that's something to never take lightly man and once again that's the advantage that we have compared to the earth man the faith in the lord and faith is what's going to get us delivered out of here man ultimately starting with the wisdom the lord allowed us to obtain this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that's going to get us, get us delivered out of Babylon, man. All right? Wisdom is going to preserve his saints, man. See that? Go to Hebrews 11. We'll go in there and eat off that. 
Yeah, one good head. Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh, while some of y'all shy, is his treasure. And like, you know, the elder was going into that, pretty much that's what's going to uh, get us through these times that's coming. Right? The Lord gave us the spirit of faith. And, uh, and, and that faith is what drives us to go into the scriptures, to meditate upon the scriptures. Pretty much this is, and, and, and having the, uh, the wisdom, knowledge, understanding of Yahweh, 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 that's what's going to keep us stable when all hell breaks loose. Man. And people are going to be looking for faith. They're going to be looking for answers. Man. What is that, Amos 8 and, uh, 8 and 12? I believe that's 8 and, Amos 8 and 12. Right there. Really cool. Because we ain't going to be out here. We ain't going to be out here forever, man. So that's why you got to get this truth now while you can. Right? This is the book of Amos chapter 8, verse 12. Then we're going to hit 11. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Amos chapter 8, verse 11. Behold, the days come, said the Lord, power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread or thirst of full water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh. There you go. Now, an actual famine is going to happen too, but this is talking about a famine of not, uh, not being able to obtain this truth, man. Right? Because when she hits the fan, people are going to be looking for answers. Right? And they ain't going to know where to turn. But right now, that's why the Lord has the prophets out here, and the prophets are telling you people what's about to come, but they ain't going to pay attention. They're not going to pay attention to uh, uh, shit gets tight, man, until she is the fans of the So they're going to be looking for answers. Keep going, bro. Mm -hmm. Amos chapter 8, verse 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from north even unto east. Yeah, search upon the truth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it said, and they shall run to even to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. Yeah, like in that movie, The Book of Eli. We bring that out all the time, man. That's a great example, man. People are going to be searching for truth, man. Yes. You see? So, so at the end of the day, they're going to know about the prophets. They're going to be looking for the prophets. So we're not going to be out here 24-7. I mean, we're not going to be out here forever, man. Yeah, pretty much, the Lord is, is about to take his word away, man. Exactly. His word of truth. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. And it's going to take total chaos for, for people throughout the society to really get it. Right. It's going to take pure destruction, pure hell to devour these streets for people to really come back to their senses, man. Right. But by then, it's too late. Real quick, before we go to Hebrews 11, go to uh, 2nd Ephesus, the 5th chapter. Right. Read, read verses 1. Right. Because when it all goes down, the majority of people ain't gonna fall back on you. How about you know, shot? They gonna they gonna rely on what? The shit they know. They gonna trust in the flesh. Guns. Hey, 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 Jake, they ain't got no covering. They just gonna be wilding the hell out when this shit go down, man. You know, a lot of these Jakes that that uh, rejected the words of the Lord, you gonna they gonna be the first ones getting off out here in the streets. Yeah. You know? all, all the looting, robbing, still, you know, uh, uh, the wilder, man, they, that's, that's Jake, because when they see that there's no order in the land anymore, man, they're going to go off of their nigga, the nigga instinct, man, and think that that's, that's life for them to do whatever, man. Right, right. That's why I said, when all hell break loose, you ain't going to see us out here, you know, uh, still out here prophesying, man. These niggas are going to be going crazy, man. You know, we're going to sit back and watch it all play out. That's right. This is Second Edwards, chapter 5, verse 1. Nevertheless, as concerning the tokens, behold, the days shall come that they which dwell upon earth shall be taken in a great number, and the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith. This is Second Edwards chapter 5, verse 1. Nevertheless, as concerning the tokens, behold, the days shall come that they which dwell upon earth shall be taken in a great number. Yeah, they, they that dwell upon earth shall be taken in a great number, man. Uh, uh, massive death, yeah. all right? Judgment going out. Go ahead. And the way of truth shall be hidden. And the way of truth shall be hidden, man. All right, because we see it now due to, due to all the uh, the decrees that's being uh, put out, the uh, uh, the censorship of speech, right? right? They're, they're about to do away with the truth. The internet, the prophets out here on the highways and hedges, know anything that's against the status quo it's going to be silence yep. you know, i think one of the brothers said that uh they locked one of his accounts out of google to like 2033. wow yeah i saw that yeah wow. so that's that's gonna, you already know that's a prelude of things to come for the man right. of the lord they don't we're not we're not gonna be able to get on these different various social media platforms that's it that's like that well some other folks are strange right you can be banned from google altogether yeah 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 that's yeah. hey so how much hey so what happened to jake hey that's just a, a preview of what's going to happen to the men of the Lord. Yep. Because soon they're going to have it involved to where they can just lock you up with, with no reason. Right. They don't got to give you no trial date or nothing. Just have you just, you know, locked up, man. Right. 
for uh, uh, for teaching the truth. They're gonna say, oh, that's hate speech. We can lock you up now uh, for that. They just come and just take you off the street. And you see that in Israel. Right. It's against the law for them to teach the Bible while the Jews are going. That's how much more than the world. Yeah. This is uh, Second Ezra chapter five, verse two. But iniquity shall be increased above that which now thou seest, yep. or that thou hast heard long ago. Yeah, we see that, man. The Lord said that we would see iniquity increase more than what we saw long ago, or what we heard long ago, man. Right? So this is how we know that what? We are at that point of what? Of the, of the massive uh, judgment. Right, because that's talking about right now. Yes. Because this place is absolutely crazy right now. Man. Nothing but weirdo is everywhere you, everywhere you go. See? Yep. Continuing on. Second Edges, chapter 5, verse 3. And the land that thou seest now to have root, shalt thou see wasted suddenly. Yep. And the land that you see that have root is talking about Babylon, man. Right? So you people that, that scoff and don't believe, hey, you're going to be a part of that, that wasteness that's yep. going to happen to us suddenly, man. You see what I'm saying? But the point we're getting into, right? Go to Hebrews 11. We got to have more faith than ever right now. That's right. All right? His brother's been going into that about what faith is, is, is a form of spiritual power. Man. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You see what I'm saying? And we got to have that same faith as our forefathers did. Because like the scriptures say, things that were written before time were written for our learning, man. Right? I have a quick one. Just to uh, show you, first of all, how that spiritual power. Uh, wisdom of Solomon 6 and 14. It says, and blessed is the youth we're going to have faith in the right. talking about Ephesians 2 and 8 I thought we were going to go that way but we're coming into that time right. to where we're going to have to solely step out on faith like solely all you know uh, truly dependent upon your eyeballs and your shot you know we're not going to have the internet we're not going to have you know phones Right, we're going to pretty much have to be uh, living, living off the grid, so to speak. Man. You know, when this society collapses, when the power, you know, uh, the power is shut down, you know. Hey, but but that's an advantage that we have over the rest of the world. Right. So we can turn to the uh, the power of the heavens, Yahweh Hashem that was shot, and we have the true name. And guess what? Mixed with that, we have faith. Man. That faith, that faith is uh, us being quickened by the Holy Spirit, by the Most High, the Spirit upon us to suffer Him and put our trust in Him. That's the man, like the brother said on Ephesians, that gift wasn't given to all men, it was only given to a regular Oh, no, hold on, we get this first. I want to add on to what he said. Isaiah chapter 65, verse 11. For ye are they that forsake the Lord, Yahweh, that forget my holy mountain. Right, and that's dealing with you, uh, uh, you two third false prophets, man, that's corrupted and perverse, uh, perverted the word. That ain't really warning Jacob about what's getting ready to happen. All right, this devil coming down upon the nation. Read on. Continuing on. That prepare a table for that truth and that furnish the drink offering unto that number. Yeah, which is the two-thirds, man. Because, hey, we in the time of what? Martial law, invasions of yes. troops, yes. troops yes. invading cities, right? You already see how they have these troops set up shop in these certain uh, yeah. uh, cities, man. You're seeing people are reporting it. But they really don't know what's going on, man. No. Shit is about to go down, it, man. It's a heavy military presence yeah. amongst these U.S. cities right now. Yeah. Yeah. It's all being prepared for what? For the martial law, for the lockdown, man. Yep. For full, uh, for, uh, full military control out here on the streets. Yes. Go ahead, up. Continuing on. Well, this is uh, Isaiah 65 and 12. And it reads, Therefore will I number you to the sword, yeah. and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I call, you did not answer. Yeah, you didn't answer. How did the Lord call through his men? Yep. He sent forth the prophets. That's right. All right. Go ahead. Continuing on. Because when I called, you did not answer. When I spake, you did not hear. Yep. But did evil before mine eyes. Yeah, Jake chose to be wicked. Jake chose to remain black, to remain a nigga. Yep. Right? You chose to stay in the church. You chose the Broadway. Right, you chose the Broadway, which leads to destruction. That's right. Congregation of the dead, go ahead. Yeah, brother, and brother. did choose that wherein I delighted not. Right. Verse 13. This is Isaiah chapter 65, verse 13. Yep. Therefore, thus saith the Lord power, behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Right. The Lord said, My servants shall eat, but you shall be hungry, man. Yep. Right? And the servants are gonna eat because first and foremost, they had faith, man. That's right. They trusted in the Lord, man. That's 
Right. So hey, this is gonna uh, this is gonna roll over into them times, man. Yep. Yep. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Everything that we've been teaching, all right, our faith and whatnot, all that's gonna come. Uh, 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 for that test, yep. we're going to have to apply everything that we've been reading, studying, prophesying about, right? Yep. That's why when you go in Luke, the 21st chapter, he said, so we can count it worthy to stand before the Son of God. Right, and it starts with the faith. It starts with the faith. It starts with our faith, and his faith shows by what? Your actions. I got a free, a free yep. This is Romans 10 and 17. So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of the Most High, so as brothers going into it, we read these different accounts of our ancient forefathers exercising their faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Right. And then that helped boost our faith, man. Right. You know, and then you see, uh, see brothers going out, you know, at, at the camp doing the, doing the video, further expounding on the different stories and using the precepts to help, you know, get you a uh, further edification of the situation. And that helps, you know, fix your faith even more, man. That's it. You know? That comes by you, you getting the proper understanding from the scripture, man. Okay. This is second Ezra chapter 9, verse 6. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. Yep. And everyone that shall be saved shall be shall be able to escape by his works and by his faith. By his works and by faith, man. You gotta have both. Yep. Now, faith without works is dead. That's right. All right? We show our faith by our works. That's why we out here, man. Yeah. Right? It ain't about just saying, oh, you got faith in the Lord. That's it. Nah. Hey, action is required, Jake. Right. right. Read that again, up. Second Acts chapter 9, verse 7. It says, everyone that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works and by his faith. So like the brother quoted in Luke 26, uh, Luke 21 and 36, hey, we, we pray always to be accounted worthy That's right. to yep. escape these things that should come to pass. So it's going to start, first and foremost, with your faith. Yep. Right. That's how you're going to be accounted worthy to even escape the shit that's about to happen, man. You know what's spiritual about what you said, because if you're always praying, that's you acknowledging the Most High. Yep. And that's what He wants. That's right. You know, because when you continue to do that, that becomes an instinctual thing. Right. So as soon as you get put in a situation, you're going right to the Most High instead of thinking about taking matters into your own hands. Exactly. Why it's going to lead a lot of these people to death because they don't have that, that instinctual relationship call upon the Lord when they get uh, found in the jail. Prime example, the test was what? With the uh with the jab. Yep. Exactly. That, that was the test run right there, man. Yep. And that and that uh, uh that incident, that situation, you know, exposed the world, yep. all right? Yep. That they weren't really about the scriptures like they said right. they were. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. And just like the priest said, matter. The Lord said what? Be not ignorant of a matter small or great. Right. right. So that's the mindset you have to be in. Regardless of the type of matter in, you always have to give knowledge to your how much you shot. And brothers do that on our daily walk. If it's hell we catch you, we acknowledge the Heavenly Father. Even on a slight little blessing, we still give knowledge to the Heavenly Father, man. That's right. that's you suffering with the Heavenly Father, man. It's really, so. it's, a lot of the country. it's really it's really like an investment. Yeah. Right. Really faith is something. That's what you need to be putting, you know, uh investing in, man. You guys they always talking about investing in stocks and all that. Well, our stocks is pretty much faith. We invest in. Whenever we pray to the Lord, we're showing faith, man. Right. Whenever we come out into the highways and byways, we're showing faith. And that's building up, building up our spiritual bank account. And, that, and that's why when you go in Matthew, the sixth chapter, he says, what, man? Keep your eyes single. There you go. You keeping your eyes single, that's you keeping your eyes on the prize, and that's what the Lord, man. Because if you keep your eyes on something with the Spirit of the Lord, that's you seeking for salvation, man. And that's what the Lord wants, man. That's right. This is Sirach, chapter 2, verse 6. Believe in him. And he will help thee. Woo! Believe in him and he will help yep. thee. Yep. Hey, yep. the first ingredient, trust in the Lord, man. Yep. Have faith in Yahweh by Shem Yep. Right? And hey, the scriptures say nothing is impossible with Yahweh by Shem which we're going to go back, back to that Isaiah 65. Go ahead. It says, order thy way aright and trust in him. Order thy way aright, man. And, and the spirit has been going out of what? Of getting your house in order. Yep. All right? Yep. Getting, getting yourself in order. Getting in, getting in the proper alignment with the Lord, man. Prepare yourself, man. Your mind starts first. You That's it. Getting, getting your mind right, and everything else follows suit. Right. right. You know, as, as we brought out when we were on the other side with the other brothers, you know, keeping thy eyes seen, right. keeping thy, thy body full of life, man, which is the spirit. Right. Hey, those virgins, those wise virgins, Matthew 25, trimming yeah. them lamps. Right. Making themselves ready for who? For the bridegroom. Right. Go ahead, I'm. Verse 7. He that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy. Yes. Go not aside, lest you fall. Go not aside, lest you fall, man. Don't get weak, as we're going to read it. Read it. Go ahead. He that fear the Lord, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. Man, just like our forefathers, man. 
Did they not trust in the Lord? Hey, I got you right here. You see what I'm saying? I got you right here. It's around two and three. Yeah, we there. We're going to read down to it. We're going to read down to it. He that fear the Lord, hope for good, yep. and for everlasting joy and mercy. He's the one in the uh, river for them. It says, look at the Oh, we're going to get there too. We're going we to get there. We're building it. Go ahead. Look at the generations of old and see. Yep. If ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded. Right, look at the generations of old and see. Did any ever trust in the Lord was confounded? Right? Hey, when Daniel was in the lion's den, guess what? He ate. That's he had right. a meal. That's right. That's right. Right? He said, have a cook in there, man, to, to feed him. Yeah. Right? What else? You had uh, Abraham. He was called out of the uh, out of the Earl of Chaldees. Yep. All right? To yep. take the land of Canaan. Yep. Elijah. Elijah. Yep. Elijah had to flee. The Lord told him to go in the wilderness. He was fed by the ravens. Yep. He went up to water. No. Noah. Exactly. He, he, he was called to build the ark. All these men that, that all these prophets, you know, of old that the brothers are speaking about, they took a leap of faith. Exactly. They literally had to step out on faith. And now it's our turn. Sure. Now it's our turn to, uh, you know, to do the same thing as our forefathers. Right. And it's stepping start, out on faith. And it started with us doing the work. That's right. Took the, the leap of faith to come out here to make our bodies a living sacrifice, be, right. to be fools for the world, for Yahweh's sake. Sure. That takes faith, man. And everybody ain't built like that. And it is really going to show in the time of the hour of temptation. Man. That's right. That's right. right? When they when they implement this sea hit, man. Yep. Can you see that sign? Right? Absolutely. The, 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 the second test is coming. Yep. Yep. Right? The main test. Yep. Yeah, the main test. Yeah, that, the jab, that, that was the pop quiz. This is the main test right here. That's right. going to test the world. Right. And all you niggas that's pretending that the sea hit at the MOTB, you're going to be confounded. You're going to be ashamed in that time, man. Yep. That's been lying to the people. Saying that this ain't what it is, yep. right? So when this thing is mandated, man, a lot of you guys, man, hey, let's be honest, a lot of these guys may get put to death yeah. for, playing, for playing with people's lives, man. You got a lot of blood in your hands that, that uh, you didn't trim the gospel, you didn't perverted, perverted the ways, yep. you didn't mingle the scriptures, the breakdowns. Yep. So when this thing comes in full effect, hey, that, hey that's the top, that's the test. Yep. You know, we'll see where your faith stands, and that's for all of us. Yep. Right? Read on. Now. I got a real. Go ahead. Revelation chapter 3, verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. That's right. Let's read it again. Revelation chapter 3, verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. The hour of temptation. The time that's going to try all the world to see, and it's going to show who you really trust in. Right. What God you really worship. Right. Because that, that's gonna put that's gonna put the test on everybody to see what what you've been living what have you been truly living your whole life for, man? Alright, and get this in the NOT, the same verse, Revelation 2 and 10, because you have obeyed my command to for uh, to per, to preserve, I will protect you from the great time of temp, uh, testing that will come upon the whole world to test those who belong to the world. Like they served how about shooting out with shot. You serve God, but we're gonna see in that day who who is the God that you truly worship. Right. Right? This, right. this is gonna show that a lot of you people, you worship Esau as your God, which is really Satan. Right. Right. You know? right. I'll finish that Sirach so we'll come back and we'll go to Hebrews 11. So this is back in Sirach 2 and 10. Look at the generations of old and see. Yep. If ever any trust in the Lord, it was confounded. You got countless ex examples throughout the scriptures. Yeah, because we, the example we just brought out of dealing temptation unto death. Daniel, Daniel, would, he didn't, he didn't uh, worship, you know, uh, Nebuchadnezzar's God, man. That's why he got thrown in the, in the lion's den. Right. All right, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego there you go. didn't didn't bow the knee when they when they was blowing the trumpet to bow to those idols, man. Yeah. They got put in the furnace with no protection, man. Right. Right. All right, so like I said, we got countless stories. The back the seven back of brother, the mother, mother Eliezer, the, the, the chapter before that one. Right. Susanna, all different examples of uh, 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 the, the believers, the elect, that was put in a position to where they were, they could be put to death for their belief, but they trusted in how about Shia was shot and go to live. Exactly. It says, Was there any abide in his in his fear and was forsaken? Or who did he ever despise that called upon him? Who, who, who did the Lord ever despise that called upon him? Scripture tells us in Psalms 34 that the uh, the righteous cry goes up to the Lord and he hears they cry, man. And he delivered them out of all their troubles. That's right. Go ahead. You know that, you know that mean you gotta know the name of the Lord? Thank you. 
How you gonna be able to call upon the Lord if you don't know his name? Right. 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 Long suffering and very pitiful, yeah. and forgiven sin, and save it in the time of affliction. Right, and save it in the time of affliction. Right, which we coming into that time now. The hour of temptation, yeah. Jacob's trouble. All right, famines, food shortages, plagues. Right, was there any more in there? That was, that was it. But for now, now finish that up before we go back to uh, Hebrews 11. Sit down on 11, right? Uh, was it four, go to 14? Oh, that's right. We're going to read a little bit more. So, back to Sabbath 2 and 12. It says, Woe to woe be to the fearful hearts and faint hands yep. and the sinners that go of two ways. That's right. Woe unto him that is faint hearted, but he believeth not. Right. Woe unto him that is faint hearted, he believeth not. Really, you didn't, you didn't have faith. Right. All right. Go ahead. But he believeth not, therefore shall he not be defended. Ooh. Man. Woe unto you. Therefore he shall not be defended, man. Yeah. Woe be right? unto you. Yeah, because you got a lot of things that think that they. The Lord has limitations. Like he can't save you, man. Right. You know? So that's you why they're going to be like, fuck it, man. I'm going to go to Esau. Right. You, know? you got some people that's in the, the, the churches. They think they saved already. That's true. You see? It says, woe unto you that have lost patience. Right. And what will ye do when the Lord shall visit you? Exactly. What you going to do when the Lord visits you, man? Yeah. Right? Because you basically, you done rejected your covenant. Yeah. You know? And that's why we said two-thirds, they're not going to last in that time. No, exactly. Right, now finish that up. Okay. Uh, yeah. Isaiah chapter 65. I think it was that. Uh, matter of fact, we were on 13. Okay, go ahead. Isaiah 65 and 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord power, behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. My servants shall eat, but you shall be hungry, man. Right, that's a separation, man. Yep. Everybody ain't gonna eat. <laughs> Everybody not gonna survive, man. Right. That's the thing that Jake did. that that hasn't really registered with Jake's brain. Right. We're telling you when when the collapse come, when they shut it down, you talking about uh, uh, blackouts, power grids getting knocked out. Yeah. People are gonna die, man. Yeah. Millions, of people, millions, millions of people are gonna die, man. Come on, man. And it's, and it's gonna start with you niggas. Right. You unbelieving. Satanic ass niggas, man. Yep. Wasn't wasn't they you that brought out? Uh, they said like ninety percent of people that died if it was yep. like a power well. Yep. Because these niggas are are uberly dependent on technology yes. to the point to where they don't know how to function. Right. Okay. With your phone, these people can't even do basic math anymore. They can't think about asking Siri or Google right. or any kind of basic shit. Yep. So how much more when when your life depends on you? You know. Having to move about technology, man. Yeah? That's why they call it a microwave society. That's why Esau made smart technology to really dumb you down and keep you reliant on him. Right, no. You can't think for yourself anymore, man. Yep. I, I, I see Jacks or in Tulsa, Oklahoma, what they they say still ain't put on the on the, uh, on the news. Hell, they are, first week you already had people dying off the respirators, people dying of heat. Yep. And, and it was it was hot as hell down there. What more so when this, when this thing really hit the fan, man? You already see this heat wave is already starting to hit here in the, uh, uh, south, the southeast. Yep. So it's going to be bad out here. Yeah. Ain't nothing good coming to a sure the video in England, it's so oh. hot over there, the fucking causes nothing, bro. Yeah, 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 that shit was crazy. crazy. That's crazy. They said, they said it's about 100 and uh, almost like 120 degrees. That's crazy. And cars are just melting, man. Right? Yeah, hey, right, but that's a preview of what the Lord really about to do to this place. Yeah. That's, that's a problem right there. Continuing on, Isaiah 65 and 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord power, behold, my servants shall eat. My servants shall eat. Everybody ain't the Lord's servant, man. Right. Right? The servants of the Lord that do the will of the Father, man. Right. Right? Go ahead. But ye shall be hungry. But ye shall be hungry, man. A lot of you niggas gonna starve. A lot of a lot of our people are gonna die from starvation, man. Right. All right? We're in the midst of the famine, as we talked about for the past few days now, man. The GMO foods, the lab created meat, all this bullshit, that's a famine, man. Yeah, yeah. hey, uh, Bill, you know, Gates of Hell, he has his, uh, his brand of, of produce that he's selling, you know, so hey, be on the lookout for that too, because his brand got the juice up inside of it, man. Yep. You know, that's, that's a part of the famine too. Yep. That's why, it seems, that's why the Lord, if the Lord didn't speed the days up for the elect's sake, no flesh would be saved, man. Now you, now you should be able to see that now. 
Right? Right. Go ahead. Continuing on. It says, Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. But ye shall be thirsty, man. Go ahead. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Yeah, yeah. A lot of you gonna be ashamed because why? You trusted in Egypt, man. You trusted in Esau. Yep. Right? Hey, the scriptures say his strength is, is, is to uh is to sit still. Right? So you're gonna find out in that time, he, this nigga ain't gonna do nothing for you in that time of uh of judgment, the time of Jacob's trouble, man. Right? All you niggas that's running down, still running down to the boat and poles. A lot of our people are caught up in this whole presidential 2024 uh, election shit, man. Right? Niggas that hated Trump, that said he was racist, that said it, uh, he was this and that, now they begging for him back. Yep. <laughs> but you're gonna find in your grand delusion of things that he was never for you in the first place, man. None of them are. None of them are, man. And that's, and that's, and that's the realization they're gonna have to come to. Man. Right. Right, they're gonna, because really, Who's really for uh, for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans? The how about you shot? Right. And that's why the Lord has just been out here telling you to repent and come back. But hey, two thirds of y'all ain't gonna come back, man. Right. So with y'all putting y'all trust in Egypt, y'all gonna fail, y'all gonna y'all gonna fall with Egypt, man. Exactly. And like we said, that guy Donald Trump, he's a cult of personality, man. Right. Right? They groomed him just like they did Obama. Right. And, 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 and all them, really all them damn presidents. Yeah. But dealing with Trump. They built him up. Hey, the nigga was a reality uh, fucking uh, right. TV exactly. shows, you know, yeah, yeah, actor, man. Exactly. But like I said in my lesson, they got the right guy in there yeah, yeah, he's perfect. To, to lead Jake to destruction. Yeah, but if I get this to the law, this is why you Jake shouldn't even be going anyway, though. Man. Deuteronomy 17 and 15. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom the Lord thy power shall choose. One from among thy brethren shall thou set king over thee, Thou may thou may not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother. And the reason for that, because these heathen don't don't have a damn inkling for anything better for you, man. And they fooled you with that faggot nigga Obama, yep. thinking that, that that was your your people because he was black. Right. Not realizing that under Obama's uh, presidency, that was the worst time for you, Jason. Yeah, right, right. That was his, that his presidency before Jason got shot by the police. Yep. All right, that was the beginning of this. The elemental heat community began to you know rain. Right, and this went down here from there. Yeah. But all the people that set up above you, somebody from your own nation, not a righteous man from your own nation, that's going to help, you know, further our own nation. You can definitely come to the panel about this, though. Yeah, Jake, Jake didn't know shit. All they saw, you see, Esau, Esau knows how to play on Jake's flesh. On his, on, his, on his emotions and mind. All they needed to do was put a brown face in office and niggas went crazy. Right, right. Jake didn't know none of his policies. Jake didn't know anything that he was that he was campaigning for. All they saw was a fucking brown face and they're like, look, we voted for him. Well, they said the power group, like, uh, what about Obama to be like? I never thought in my lifetime that I would ever see a black man rush right the president and give a dog never hear that was the first man. Yeah. Uh, Hey, change gonna come, right? Right. And it did came. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And nigga turned everybody into freaks. Right. <laughs> shit got shit got nasty out there. Yeah. But that's what happened. It's supposed to say that our people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. And he saw he know that Jake is stupid like that. Hey, well, remember when he got elected, niggas was crying. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Niggas thought that was that, that was their time where shit was really about to change. Yeah. 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 Such as a political leader is deliberately presented to the people of a country as a great person who should be admired and loved. Right, so that's Trump. Cult, cult of personality, man. They set him up to be the savior, to be admired, to, to uh, you know what I'm saying? He's the guy that's going to bring America back to his glory. Set him up as one people. Yeah, like he's the, he's the great white hope. You know? See what I'm saying? But all that, that's just all a snare and a trap. To keep because what's the main thing? These at least need to, to, to have you continue to have faith in America, right? Right. They want you to continue to have faith in a dying society, yep. right? They don't want the people's minds on, uh, to to really be on the fact that, that this place is really going down. I'm coming out all the way. Right. 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 Right.
Isaiah 65 and 14. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart. Right, right. See, and the Lord will take care of his servants. His servants is going to have uh, raiment. They're going to have food, water, shelter. Right. But he said, you should be hungry and thirsty. Right. You shall uh, 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 sorrow for heart. Right. Like the scripture said, get that in um, Second as it's not right about beautiful case. Give me that real quick. Right? Yeah, it's gonna be in a beautiful case, right? But the prophets, the ones that have faith that you believe in your heart about the child are gonna be protected. You see? So all these people out here that that you know speak about the religion like they just walk fast. And guess what, man? That time is coming to where you're gonna wish there and listen to the prophets. Second Ezra is 9 and 9. Second Ezra is 9 and 9. Then shall they be in a pitiful case, which thou have abused my way, and they that have passed them away despite me shall dwell in torment. Yep, yeah, because hey, you have used the ways of the Lord. You can take advantage of the, of the period of grace to, to amend your ways, to repent, to get right with the Creator. And then their life has received benefits and have not known you. Yeah, our people received all types of benefits, man. The goodies of America, the government assistance, yeah. right? Government aid or whatever the case is, or snaps. You have received all these things, but you didn't consider the Lord. Right? You basically put Esau as your God. His system. You know? Right. We gotta move, 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 move. Yeah. And they that have loved my law while they yet have liberty. Why they yet have liberty? It's the, hey, this is the period of, 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 of grace. Right? We have the liberty right now to what? To get in order. Go ahead. And, and when as yet a place of repentance was open unto them, understood not what despised them. Understood not and despised it. See, here it is. We're, the, Repentance is being opened unto you now. The arms of the Lord are going to still say that uh, they're still stretched out still. We still out, we still out here, man. The, the, the edification is still going out on the uniform. Brothers are still out there on the highways and edges. Right? But go ahead. The same must know it after death by pain. Right, so since you bullshitted, since you didn't fear the Lord, since you thought this was a joke, you're going to learn by death by pain. Right? The Lord got serious judgments already lined up for Jake, man. Like he says, uh, what is that, Jeremiah, you know, number him to the sword, to the sword, the dog to ten. Give me that real quick to read that he was love. Right? The Lord got horrific judgments set up for Jake. Remember, a hey, judgment gonna start at the house of God first, man. All you Israelites that know you Israel, man, that's played with this thing, that sold out, that trimmed the gospel, that converted the word of the Lord, that made the Lord to be a liar, right? You will have to answer for all of that. Look at Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 1. This said the Lord unto me, though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward this people. Right, well, here it is. The Lord gave me the prophets. Right. Moses and Samuel stood before the, uh, 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 for the children of Israel. The Lord gave me the prophets to give you the, uh, the understanding and the warnings. But the Lord said, what? Read that last word again. He said, he said, yet my mind could not be toward these people. Come on, man. Read on. And he said, cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. Yep. And it shall come to pass if they say unto me, whether shall we go forth? Then say unto them, thus to say the Lord, such as for the death to death, yep. and such are for the sower to the sower. Right, so the Lord already got it set up. He already got the judgment set up for two thirds, man. Death unto death, sword unto the sword. Read on. It says uh, for the famine to the famine. Famine to the famine. Go ahead. It says that for the captivity to the captivity. Come on, man. And I will appoint over them four times, said the Lord. The sword to slay, yep. the dogs to tear, yep. the fowls of the heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. Man. All right. Hell. Come yeah. on, man. Chaos. Hey, the prophets of the prophets of, of four times spoke of what? Of, of great evils. Wars and pestilence, man. Come back. Right? Get that one in Job real quick, too. Job 5. How the Lord said, once again, just reiterating the fact that, look, the servants of the Lord are going to have food and rain, but we're going to eat, they're going to be protected. Right? This is Job, chapter 5, verse 17. Behold, 
Happy is the man whom the Most High corrected. Therefore, despise not thou the chastity of the Almighty. Right, despise not the chastity of the Almighty, like the scriptures tell us, you know, the first of that uh, we endure the chastisement in order to not be uh, a judge of the rest of the world. Right? We go through the hell right now in order to not experience the hell fire that's going to come in the end. If we, if, we, if we really are uh, uh, of the elect, it's, a, it's really a purifying process. Really, the Lord is just cleaning us up until you can see his reflection in us. You see, you see his image in us. That's what's going on. But if you think about a purifying process, you got to struggle. You got to, you know, uh, run through the ring or something. So it don't feel good at the time, but hopefully it's going to pan out for you in the end. So when it goes, yeah. Go chapter 5, verse 18. For he make him sore and bind him up. He wounded and his hands made whole. Verse 19. Hey, Lord, hey, one thing the Lord does is he'll break you down, but it builds you up. That's the process. Hey, we, we just read Sirach the second chapter. You know, when you uh when you come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. So you're gonna go through shit, man. But it's for the it's for the betterment of you. To make you a better servant. Right, a better individual to the Lord. Also, it's helping you to establish that, that relationship with the Lord. That's right. When you trust in the Lord, the Lord's going to bring you to the point where you're going to feel like, damn, man, the Lord's going to bring you to the point He'll do something to where he'll bring you out this situation. You're like, man, that's the Lord's real, man. I need that. You've got to believe in it. I'm going to add on to that. This is Hebrews 12 and verse 5. It says, if you have forgotten the exhortation, for speaking unto you as unto children, my son, despise not the chest, despise not thou the chastising of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. For when the Lord, for whom the Lord Yahweh Shema Shai loveth, he chastened. Right. And be careful to think about whenever you uh you read that it's a joke. The Lord tried Job all throughout to read that book, and then what happened to Job at the end? He was in prison. That's what happened to all of us. Go through our trial situation, and we brought it up, and then once we get past that that trial period, Lord, we bring it back up, and we bring it up, and lift it back up. We're strong, we're, we're wise. He brings it, brings it to that next level. Yeah. It's always levels. Lord gradually builds you up to that next level of faith. You look at it, hey, like you got hurt. Get the air where you jump, now you got to come down and spring up. Right. That's how the Lord does in the spirit. Verse 6, it says, for whom the Lord and how about you know, shall love if he chastened and scourge of every son whom he receiveth. Yeah, so he's going to scourge every one of his elect, all right? So uh, the pretty much like the brother was saying, to purify them so at the end he's able to see his image in all of his, uh, all of his elect. Yeah. Verse 7, if you, it said, if you endure chastising, you how about you know, shall dealing with you as sons, mm -hmm. as with sons. But what son is he whom the Father chastises not. Right, the Lord, he's gonna, he's gonna put you through some shit, man. Yeah, right. But it's really through love, man. All right, it's ultimately for your own betterment. And if you have the integrity to take whatever the Lord puts upon you, that shows you that you're one of his, man. That's right. You're only a bitch ass nigga with goddamn fold amongst all that pressure. That, that goes to show you, once again, talk about the purification process, that if you're not of that pure metal, you're gonna get burned away. You will be that dross. That's it. It says verse eight, if you be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then you are bastards and not sons. Man, what's the perfect example of that? The fucking Edomites, man. Yep. The, yep. the epitome of what a bastard is, man, because the Lord's not dealing with them. And you can see they, they're they they're completely you know, uh, unbound when it comes to their wickedness. That's the point we see a lot of our people get to, man. Because the Lord, hey, he, he, left, he left them to their devices, man. They're not being judged and refined for their actions, man. The Lord is just allowing them to stack up that shit that can become more, more better firewood, man. Yep. Yep. A, couple, a little bit more here, it uh -huh. says, Hebrews 12 and 9, it says, Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us, yeah. and we gave them reference. Yeah, talking about your, your, uh, your earthly you know, father, man. All right, he corrected you when you went off. You know, that's why, hey, you get your ass. That's why he showed between the, the parents that truly love their kids between the ones that did. But you, you go get into some shit with your friends, you get your ass for and you see the parents, uh, the parents, the other parents, they ain't, they ain't get to them. All right, but that was the Lord, you know, pretty much for finally you to be better. Right. That's why a lot of them guys that didn't get what when they was done end up in jail right. or dead, man. Right. Right. Yep. 
can't spare a rod, right? Exactly. Right. Uh, it says, Furthermore, we have fathers of our flesh which corrected us, and we gave them reference. Mm -hmm. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of the spirits and live? Exactly. For they barely for a few days chasten us after their own pleasure, but he for our profit, that we might be partakers of his holiness. A little bit more, it says, now, now no chastising for the present seems to be joyous, but grievous. Yeah, that's going back to what we were reading in Sarat too. You know? Right. Uh, you know, don't be pretty much, he get that at the beginning, uh, the beginning verse of Sarat, uh, Sarat 2 and 2. This is an uh, add-on from uh, uh -huh. Ashton Red. Can you hear again about that song, all right, this is uh, Hebrews 11, Hebrews 12 and 11. It says, Now no chastising from the present seem to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward, it yielded the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. All right, so you gotta, hey, you gotta sit the fire for a little bit, man. All right, right. So you, can't, right. Hey, you can't, you can't rush the Lord in his process, man. Sometimes you gotta just, hey, take the heat, man. Right. You know? Because in the midst of that heat, that's when you sit there and that, you're in that sorrowful state. And scripture tell you, and much sorrow, there's much wisdom. So while you're sitting there, you're that's when you talk to the Lord. Look, what are you trying to show me? What are you telling me that way that I that I can learn from this and I can you know get out of there? Get there. Right, this is Sarah, chapter two, verse two. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure, mm -hmm. and make not haste in time of trouble. Right. So you gotta hey, endure. Endure in the process and allowing the Lord to work his marvelous work. To, to, to make you better, man. You know? That's where the faith come in with. And I appreciate what you add on. Just speaking on, brother. This is Isaiah 48, and verse 10. Behold, I have refined thee, but yeah. not with silver. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. Yeah, that furnace of affliction is, is this hell that we catch in this life, man. All right? To prepare us for the, the true hell that's going to come when you have by Shina Lashab against to bring true judgment upon this damn wicked kingdom, man. So we're going through that fire now. All right, we're firing ourselves that so we don't have to take part in the fire that's going to judge the rest of these people. Our judgment is getting done now, right? Yeah, that's happening. Yeah. Zechariah 13 and 9. And I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. Oh, okay, done. So, uh, Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord Yahweh. In all the land is, is America. Go ahead. Two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Two thirds. But the third shall be left therein. That's the elect. That's the 144,000 and, and that great multitude of believers, man. Uh, 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 men, women, and children. That's right. That believe on the doctrine. That's right. Zechariah 13 and 9. And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name. They shall call on my name. So that one third that elect was going to call on his name. They weren't going to be playing with it. That's right. That's right. And I will hear them. I will say, it is my people. And they shall say, the Lord Yahweh is my power. That's what it is. That's, that's what the Lord shows. Before the true believers, the believers are about to be down right. Finish it up. Hebrews 12 and 12. And it reads... I'll read 11 again. Hebrews 12 and 11. Now, cha now no chastising from the present seemed to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward, it yielded the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Verse 12, it says, Wherefore, lift up the hands which hang down and, and the feeble knees, right? So like the scriptures said, tell us in uh, 2nd Exodus 14, this is the time that you put off the weak nature, right? It says, verse 13, Make straight paths for your feet, lest that which is lame be turned out of the way. But let it rather be, uh, but, but so like it, but let it rather be healed. See that? So now it's time to, to, to come under the complete subjection of the Yahweh Shemal Shai. And how do you do that? Well, it starts with faith. All right. That's what we're going to further get into. Finish that up. This is Job chapter 5, verse 18. For he maketh sore and bindeth up. He woundeth and his hands make whole. Hey, the Lord will break your ass down. Right, but it will build you back up as well. That's right. Verse 19, he shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven, there shall no evil touch thee. That's complete protection through all the hell 
that you how about Shin Yawa uh, is gonna bring. Like I always reference the Puff the Ball. He did that video, you know, a while back. And he was pretty much saying all the don't fear none of the judgment that we talk about, you know, that's coming. That's for these wicked ass niggas. That's not for us. Lord willing, you know, that we're of that number of uh, uh, election to be sealed, man. The guillotines, the like you said, the people wild beasts, the yeah, that's whatever for the else. Yeah. That, that's for these wicked two thirds niggas, man. That's not for the elect, man. This is why we're doing what we're doing. That we don't, uh, we, we earn our, our, our place and that protection and yeah. that safe zone in the eyes of the Lord. Man. Yeah, you got to really understand that. The Lord has two thirds that He's going to put to death, right? Yeah. But He also has a third that He's going to protect. Right. He's going to do divine things for. Him. As we read in Isaiah 65, my servants going to eat. Yep. They're going to have drink. They're going to have raiment. Yep. They're going to have shelter. Right? The Lord going to be doing things. And right? the whole thing about it, what's, what's so beautiful about what, what's about to take place, we're, we're going to be shown the miracles of the Lord and show why he is so, you know, uh, uh, worthy to be praised. Because right. we're out here speaking these great wonders and the world ain't seen shit yet. Right, shit, right. we haven't seen it. You know, we've seen it on a small scale, right. but we haven't seen... The miracles like when he showed the Israelites in the wilderness, he split the rock on the rim, they had the water. Yep. These burger troops, these, yep. these, these robots, and whatever the fuck else. Plagues. Plagues. As you see, that was an example of that earlier, what you mentioned with the pan with the pan epidemic. Uh, you had you didn't you didn't see brothers rush to the damn doctor. Right, right. Let's right. be real. A lot, hey, some of us got the damn the yeah. shit, man. Yeah. You know, but we we ain't panicked nope. and we, we endured it. The Lord got us up, got us, uh, got us over it quick. Right, 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 we right. trust in the Lord. Yeah, we, we threw the prayers up. We got the proper herbs and, uh, put inside of our bodies. Yep. And the Lord healed us, man. Exactly. You know? Go ahead. Job chapter 5, verse 21. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. Mm -hmm. Verse 22. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. That's crucial. At man. I said, imagine the state of, of mind you gotta be in. Yeah. They said you're gonna laugh at destruction and family. They're gonna be out here in all type of bugged out, you know, uh, tweaking, crying, and they starving to death, niggas. It's crazy. And we're gonna be laughing at these people. Yeah. Right. Yep. That shows the Lord gotta be with you, bro. Yeah. 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 Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Uh -huh. The Lord gonna make the animals uh, be afraid, does That's, That's what I was about to get into. Oh, God, God, God. Verse 23, jump in the gun, bro. Job, Job 5 and 23. For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, yep. and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. Uh, I wanted to go into this because this, as of late, it's been many videos coming up of animals pretty much approaching man you know, for help. Which is showing you the Lord is about to establish that connection back with the earth, with the elect, man. Yep. And the animals are a part of that. As we mentioned earlier, we got the example with Elijah. So can somebody get 1 Kings 17? Let me just read through this real quick, 1 through 6. Going to the example how the beast is going to be in league with this is an example that the Lord showed with Elijah. Got it first. I got you. This is 1 Kings chapter 17, verse 1. And Elijah the Tishbite, who was of the inhabitants of Gilead, said unto Ahab, As the Lord Yahweh, power of Israel, liveth, before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain these years, but according to my word. And the word of the Lord Yahweh came unto him, saying, Get thee hence, and turn thee eastward, and hide thyself by the brook Sherif, that is before Jordan. Now, I'm, uh, if I'm correct, this was during the time period, uh, I think it was King Ahab and Jezebel. And pretty much, you know, Elijah had to go into hiding because they wanted to kill him. You know, the Lord told him to get, get out of the land. And he was pretty much going to send a, uh, he said he was going to send rain and, you know, uh, whatever else to that land during that time. Go ahead. First Kings chapter 17, verse 4. And it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook. And I have commanded the ravens to feed thee there. So he was telling them, don't fear. All right, you're going to be in the wilderness, but hey, I'm, I'm going to make sure you have water and rain. Go ahead. First Kings chapter 17, verse 5. So that, that was Elijah pretty much having to go out on faith, man. Exactly. Yep. Go ahead. So he went and did according to the word of the Lord Yahweh. He ain't questioned that. He's like, all right, cool. I'm out. Fuck it. Go ahead. For he went and, for he went and dwelt by the brook Sherif. 
that is before Jordan, and the ravens brought him bread and flesh in the morning. Yep, so they had ravens bringing him food to keep the Jesus uh, himself nourished, man. Yep. Yep. And bread and flesh in the evening. Yep. And he drank of the brook. And it came to pass after a while that the brook dried up because there had been no rain in the land. And the word of the Lord Yahweh came unto him, saying, Arise, get thee to Zepharah, or Zarephah, which belongeth to Zidon, and dwell there. Behold, I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain thee. That's, that's the point. No. Because the main thing is, Elijah had to move our faith, you know, that the Lord said, look, I'm going to take care of you while you flee from, you know, from you down wicked as uh, two-thirds. And, and he provided for him, man. You know, and like I said, that goes back to what I was saying with the animals, man. Because as of late, there's two videos that you know that I've seen as of this week. We were talking about with the deer. You know that song? Right, right, yep. You know the deer was stopping up traffic. The dude pretty much came out and was trying to figure out what the deer wanted. And so he pretty much the deer like but followed him. So he ended up taking the uh, taking the man to where his uh, the baby deer was caught in the damn strip on there. Yeah, bro. Freedom. And the, dead, the baby deer came up and bowed to the dude, man. Yeah, bro. There was another incident with killer whales. Orcas. That was on the ship. They saw the baby orcas pretty much, you know, surrounding the ship. And so they were pretty much followed the orcas to where they, their mother was stuck in a fishing net. And they saved them and, you know, they put on a little show for them before they took off, man. Yeah, bro. But that shows the Lord is going to establish that connection with the earth again, man. Yeah, yeah. You know? Come back. They'll come back, man. So this is why these, these things are written for us to let us know what the Lord is about to do and what he's capable of. Exactly. Real quick, if you get that, uh, uh, Luke 1 and 37. We believe that. What? And, uh, 2 Corinthians 5 and 7. So the Lord, hey, real quick, while y'all get there, this is, uh, Isaiah 41 and 13. For I, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh shall thy power, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Who fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel. Which is nothing but worms. So we have no defense yeah. here in this place, man. Lord, All right. Man. It says, I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Right. We, we got faith that the Lord will honor that promise, man. And so, hey, whatever happens, we know the Lord got it, man. Nice. What about that Luke? I got that Luke right here. This is the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 37. For with Yahweh, Nothing shall be impossible. Ooh, that's that's the point. All right, nothing's impossible when you have about seeing that with Shah. When we come into these things, we gotta have our minds wide open to the fact that the Lord can do anything to get us out of this situation. Man, I told you that, you know, what's that? First Corinthians 10 and 13. Yeah. All right, there is no temptation that's common to man, yeah. but the Lord shall always provide a way to escape. Love this man, praise him All right, so we gotta, hey, we gotta move on faith. You got that second Corinthians? You said five and seven. Five. This is second Corinthians chapter five, verse seven. For we walk by faith, not by sight. That's it, man. We walk by faith, man. So we're going to let Yahweh Bashim Yahweh guide us in those times even more than what we do now, man. Yeah. Because when this society totally breaks down, as Yahshua Rama always says, we got to fully step out there on faith, there you man. Go. There you know, because we ain't going to be able to see. We don't know how Lord's going to you know, do for us that. Right. We know with a 100% fact the Lord got us, man. Yeah, that's it. Yep. Good. This is the book of uh, Psalms, chapter 120, 121, verse 7. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. And that's what the brother priest going into, man. The Lord is going to preserve us. Maybe the Lord is going to feed us. He's going to shelter us. He's going to actually cover us. So, with, Lord willing, we have that covering in the day of all the day of that destruction. And that's truly what the Lord wants. The Lord wants us to truly depend upon him and trust that man. You know? Yep. And that's, and that's the, 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 the uh, necessity of faith. Yep. Right, let's read that. This is Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Yeah, because hey, there, there's, there's, there's an actual substance that's attached to our faith. That's right. And what I mean is that the substance can be applied to what? The kingdom. That's right. Us obtaining those, those new bodies. You see what I'm saying? Having the power. There's an actual substance. That's right. Right? Read on. Continuing on, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 2. And that's, what, and that's what makes faith so powerful. The evidence of things hoped for, right? The substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Yeah. Right? That's truly what faith is. That's what faith is. Real quick, 1 uh, Peter, and read verses, uh, 1 Peter chapter 1, 
verses 8 through 10, just to add on to faith. Well, uh, while you get to that uh, definition, yep. so when you go into substance in that verse, this is G52, 87, it says, steadfastness of mind, firmness, courage, uh, resolution, confidence, firm trust, assurance. If you know, confidence, break it down, it's pretty much, you know, uh, goes into faith. Right, you know? I got something real quick. Uh, Romans 8 24 says, For we are saved by hope. Mm. For we are saved by hope, but what but but hope that is seen is not hope. No. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. For what a man seeth, why do if he yet hope for? It says verse 25, but if we hope for that which we see not, then do we with patience wait for it, man. Yeah. And that's faith. That's right. All right, we know your Hawashah is coming. Yep. We know we're we, we know that we're at the end of Babylon. Yep. Right. All right, this place is going to be destroyed and the, and the elect are going to be delivered. That's right. And we have to believe that what? That we are part of that hopeful elect. Yes, we did. Why the hell we out here? Come on, we we out, out here wasting our time there, folks. That's, what that's what's wrong with a lot of these niggas, man. They, they do this shit for show. We, we do it because we actually believe that Yahweh is going to take care of us. That's right. You know? That's right. Verse, yeah. verse 2 says, Who is the man that you may not seen ye love? In whom thou now ye see him not, yeah. yet believing, ye rejoice. That's the that, that's the point. Read it again, slot it, brother. No, no, you can <laughs> take jump the gun. This is First Peter chapter one, verse eight. Yep. Whom having not seen, ye love. He, whom, whom whom having not seen, ye love. Right. Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. In whom thou now ye see him not, yet believing. And hey, we ain't seen Yahweh Shai, but we believe. That's right. Going back to what is it? Uh. uh, uh First Ezra, even though we haven't seen him with bodily eyes, yet right. we believe in the, in the things that he says. Right. Go ahead. It says, "Ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory." Uh huh. Verse nine, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. Receiving the end of, the, of your faith, even the salvation of your souls, because faith is going to lead to what your salvation. That's right. Go ahead. This is Second Ezra chapter one, verse thirty-seven. I take to witness the grace of the people to come. Yep. Whose little ones rejoice in gladness. We are, we will represent the little ones. Yep. We are also the the elect are referred as to uh, to those babes. Yep. Yep. So it says whose little ones what? Rejoice in gladness, and though they have not seen me with bodily eyes, yet in spirit they believe the thing that I say. Even though we haven't seen the Lord in bodily with bodily eyes, yet we believe in the things that He says, man. Yep. That's faith, man. That's that's the reason why we out here. Why you brothers and sisters out there across the world believe and tune into the videos? Right, right, because you got faith in your hour shot, man. That's right. You haven't seen him with your body, your fleshly eyes, but you believe in spirit what he says. Right. The Lord said in John in the tenth chapter that what the sheep hear my voice and they follow me. Right. Uh, whether he, whether it, so forth he go, and the voice of the Lord is what ultimately what the the, the truth, the sound doctrine. Right. The hundred percent sound doctrine. Right. Right. You want more? Of Oh, no, that was it. Go back to Hebrews. This is Hebrews chapter 11, uh, verse 2. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Ooh, that's heavy. Yeah. For by faith the elders obtained a good report, man. Going back to our forefathers, all the ancient prophets, and, and, and our elders and apostles now. That's right. That's right. Through, through their faith they obtained a good report because really we're the fruits of their labors, man. That's right? Yep. Right? Come on, man. We're we're an we're an extension of their work, yeah. and what are we doing? We're forwarding, we're, we're forward, we're forwarding the gospel just like they did, man. Yeah. Right? And because look, niggas will scoff at the fact that uh uh uh, uh Abba Bivens, right. right? High priest Abba Bivens, right? You know who, who was Elijah coming back? But hey, through the Spirit, and, and this is a stumbling block. The world don't understand. Just like how the Lord called our forefathers to have faith and to move and to do things. How much more did it happen to uh, uh, Abba Bibbins, man? Exactly. The spirit was on him, man. Exactly. Revealed him to uh, to uh, who the tribes are, right? Elder High Priest Ariya, the, the the breakdown of the twelve tribes, the locations. That all happened through the spirit, man. That's right. And the Lord said, "What Romans 15, uh, 4. The things that break the four times break the Right. Get the one in Peter real quick that talks about how holy men will move by the Holy Spirit. So if these same things happen. To our forefathers, how much now in, in this time? Yeah. In this time where where everybody don't, you know, nobody has faith. Man. Nobody, everybody uh, is unbelievers. 
especially when it comes to the Lord of the Bible. Everybody out here doing their own thing. Right. They got to see it to believe it. You see? Right. So if the Spirit, so the Spirit was dealing with our forefathers, but the Spirit ain't dealing now in these times? Right. Exactly. This is uh, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse uh, 2 Peter 1. 2 Peter 1. I got one. Go ahead. This is 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 21. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of men, but holy men of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, spake as they was moved by the Holy Spirit. Spake as they was moved by the Holy Spirit. So these weren't regular men, man. <laughs> these men were endowed with the Holy Spirit from above. That's how they were able to write down the visions in the scrolls, man. Right? It wasn't just. A regular man waking up one day and was just writing all these things that's happening in the earth right now, man. They were possessed through the divine spirit of the Lord to see and write these things down. They was inspired. They was inspired. That's going back to the breath. So once again, the breath was on uh, 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 High Priest Abba Bibbins, man. King Masha. Elder High Priest Ariad, man. All right? Apostles and Elders now. Apostles and Elders now, man. Go ahead. This is St. John chapter 5, verse 21. It says... For as the Father raised up the dead and quickened them, even so the Son quickened whom he will. See, quickened to be made alive. That's through the Spirit. The Spirit was with our uh, our forefathers, just like how they are with our fathers today, man. Our spiritual fathers. Right? Hebrews chapter 11, verse 3. Hebrews 11 and 3. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of the Most High. Right, the worlds going back to what? The periods of time, the yes. ages that exist, that have existed on the earth, man. That's right. It all was created by the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh linking it up with Colossians 1 and 15 on down, man. That's right. By through Yahweh Shah, all things consist. That's right. Right? All things were created for him and by him, as the scriptures say. Read on. So that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Go ahead. Verse 4, by faith, Abel offered unto the Most High a more excellent sacrifice. Right, because what, what did Abel do? Abel obeyed. Yep. He obeyed the Lord. He did what was right. And obedience is better than sacrifice. That's right. That's right. And, and he put up a right to sacrifice. That's right. Go ahead. It says, by faith, Abel offered unto the Most High a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. Yeah, because he sacrificed the right thing. That's right. Go ahead. By which he obtained witness that he was righteous, the Most High testifying of his gifts, and by it, he being dead, yet yet speaking. Right, because when you read the chapter of Genesis, the fourth chapter, right, basically uh, uh, Abel's spirit cried out to the Lord for what Cain did to him. Real quick, go to 1 John, right, because it talks about how Abel's words was righteous. Uh, 1 John 3, and I believe verse 12. Right, first, yeah, 1 John 3 and 12. 1 John chapter 3. Just to add that precept in there. Verse 12, now as Cain, who was that wicked one, and slew his brother, and wherefore slew he him? Because his own works were evil, and his brother's righteous. Right, because Cain's works was evil. Right? He put up a corruptible uh, sacrifice, man. He knew what to do. They had the um, they had the oral law back then. That's right. You know? And he hated his brother because his, his sacrifice was righteous, man. And this is the yeah. same thing we see today with yeah. Esau. They know where the children of the Most High, man. Tell you that in Wisdom of Solomon chapter 2. All right? So they're, they're pretty much trying to put us to the test to see if your God really real. But they know. You know? That's why, they, that's why they're coming down so hard on the Israelites, man. Because they truly are afraid of our power, man. That's right. This is Hebrews chapter 11, verse 5. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death. Yep. And was not found. Because the Most High had translated him. Yeah, he was translated. He was taken up. Right? right. E and Enoch, going back to uh, from the righteous line of Seth, right? Yep. Seven generations from Adam, right? You can read the precepts, Jude 1 and 14, Genesis 5, 22 through 24, right? But it talks, the scriptures talk about, go to Sirach 44 and 16 real quick, and then Sirach 49 and 14 just to add on to that. All right? Because the, uh, the Lord walked with uh, Enoch. Right, you know? And he was with him. He was with him. Yeah, whatever you want. Rock 49 and, uh, and 14. Yep. It says, but upon the earth was no man created like Enoch, for he was taken from the earth. He was taken. He was translated, man. Yeah. Right? Yeah, Go ahead. Yeah, there's not, yeah, there's not. It says, neither 
was there a young man born like Joseph, a governor of his brethren? Oh, that was it. That was that was it when he knocked Slot. Get the one in uh, uh, Sirach 44 16. But the point of this, when you go through this chapter, it goes into the, ne the necessity of faith. Right. Right? The faith of our forefathers, man. Right? That's what it, and that's really what it's gonna all boil down to. Having faith. You got guys that say, oh, you gotta keep the law, the law, the law. But at the end of the day, you gotta have faith. That's right. what's gonna get you delivered. What spirit, if I get this real quick, order to uh, Enoch, Genesis 5 and 24. Yep. It says, uh, and Enoch walked with the most high, and he was not, for the most high took him. All right, when it says that he walked with the most high, he what? He feared the Lord. Right, he kept, right. He kept the, uh, the commandments. Yeah, That's right. You know, and on top of that, the Lord, hey, he beat him up. Yeah. Yeah. The Lord was with him. The Lord dealt with him. That's right. See? Book of Sirach, chapter 44, verse 16. Enoch pleased the Lord and was translated being an example of repentance to all generations. Woo, being an example, man. And it yeah. took what? That faith. That faith is the example, man. That's the key ingredient. And it's the key ingredient because Lord willing, as we be translated just like Enoch was, man. Right. We be taken up. Right? Because that's the only way to get out of here, man. Yeah, no. Ain't no other way. The deliverance is going to come through a divine deliverance. That's salvation through the chariots. Right. Right. That's, that's the real rapture. Right. right. There's going to be no down. Everybody that's going to be taken up in the destruction. No. Everybody's going to have to go through it. Yep. With the elect, they're actually going to be the ones beamed up in those chariots after, during the destruction. Right? Right. As Simon says, he has the mystery coming down to help the land of Babylon, the elect was going to be taken up. Yeah. So, example is like Enoch and Yahweh Shah that got uh, translated into the chariot, that's, that's going to be our, uh, you know, our judgment. Lord willing, you know, where the elect, man. Yep. And also, you're going to see the new bodies as well. And that's that's the, uh, the same process. Yep. yep. Real quick, we'll be taken up. This first Thessalonians 4 17. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together. It says we that are alive and remain, which shows you that we're going to be in the midst of all this judgment. All right? The church teaching you about that stupid ass rapture doctrine, that's not that's not biblical. You're saved already. Yeah, there, there's nowhere in the Bible where you can look up the word rapture and you're going to find it in the scripture. Nope. All right, so read what we're talking about. It's 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 17. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. Right. We that are alive and remain are going to be caught up in the clouds. And the house shall return for that kind of partnership. All, right. All the electric will be cleaned up like, the, like you see in that movie, uh, This is How It Ends. I have to call it. Right, this is right. This is the end, yeah. You'll see everybody get taken up to those ships. You know, that's what's going to happen. And it's said, to be, it's said to be called together with them in the clouds because you're going to have... The, the elect that's already that that died that's already up there with you, Howard. Right. You know they're gonna be risen up. Uh, they're gonna be they're gonna rise up first. As the yeah. Scripture says. They're already gonna be in the ship. Right. And it says to meet the Lord in the air. To meet the Lord in the air. That's salvation. That's going up into the chariots. Yep. And it says, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. That's right. right. Wherefore comfort one another with these words. Yeah, that's what they hey, comfort one another with these words. This is the comfort that. We're giving you, we're giving you the, uh, we're giving you the answers to the spirit of what's going to happen when the destruction comes. Yeah. That's the way out. That's the deliverance. You know? Go back to uh, Hebrews. Yeah. You, uh, this is Hebrews chapter eleven, verse five. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death. Too man. That's Lord willing, man. Hey, that's why. Uh, 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 get that in Corinthians when it talks about how we're going to. Uh, we're going to uh, 1 Corinthians 15. Yeah, 52, I believe. All right, then. Uh, the two of the eyes, the last trunk. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 52. Start at, uh, start at 50. 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 50. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of Yahweh, Neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Right, so we're gonna to have to be changed. Right, right. These 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 corrupted bodies are not gonna be able to inherit the kingdom. Read on. Verse 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. Meaning not all die. Go ahead. Right. But we shall all be changed. But we shall all be changed. Go ahead. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. And that's what you and that's the uh Really right there, that's the new covenant. Man. There you go. Right. There you go. All right, when we put on incorruption. 
That's right? So as the elect go up into those chariots, they're going to be instantly translated into them new bodies, man. Go. You're going to be changed. Go ahead. For the trumpet shall sound, yep. and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we sh and we shall be changed. Right. The dead shall be raised incorruptible. The dead are going to rise. They're going to be changed. You see what I'm saying? Any more? Yep. Verse 53. For this corruptible must be put on incorruption, yeah. and this mortal must be put on immortality. Yeah, and this mortal must put on immortality. We're going to change. We're going to be put into those new spiritual bodies that are waiting for us in the heavens. Right. Pursuing what? 2 Corinthians, the fifth chapter, man. How our bodies earnestly grown to, be, to put on that new, uh, that new habitation, man. Right? That was it on that. Huh? Let's go back to that Hebrew. Right. This is Hebrews chapter eleven, verse five. But it all requires faith, Jake. Yeah. That's what it. That's that's the that's the, the key, like the brother said. You gotta have faith, man. Come on, man. Hebrews chapter eleven, verse five. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death, man, and was not found, because the Most High had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony. This testimony. The words of Yahweh exactly. that he pleased the most high. He's the most high, man. Go ahead, read on. Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. That's what we're telling our people. But without faith, it's impossible. It's impossible to please Yahweh man. That's right. You gotta have faith. Your faith gotta be concrete, man. Gotcha. Go ahead. For he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is. You gotta believe that he is. Yeah. He's the power. That's right. All right? Nothing is impossible with the power. Read on. Continue on. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Exactly, man. There's a reward that's going to come with your faith, Jay. <laughs> your, your reward is not going to be in vain. I mean, your faith is not going to be in vain. Man. The Lord said what in Hebrews 6 and 10, that he, was, he wasn't unrighteous to forget your works and labors of the love that you have showed towards his name. Right? And that required what? Faith, man. Right? right? Go ahead, I'll continue on. <clears throat> this is Hebrews chapter 11, verse 7. By faith, Noah, being warned of the Most High, of things not seen as yet, moved with fear. He moved with fear. Noah, hey, the Lord came to Noah, told him what it was. That's right. That he was going to flood the earth. That's right. Told him to build the ark. That's right. Noah didn't question. Nope. He obeyed. He, he obeyed. obeyed. There you go. Prepare. Let me uh, start back. Hebrews 11 and 7, by faith, Noah, being warned of the Most High, of things not seen as yet, moved with fear. Did, did, is that not the same lot as us? Absolutely. Did Absolutely. we not hear the word? Absolutely. Did we not fear? Hell, hell yeah. Hey, when we came into the truth, we thought the world was ending yesterday. Yeah, bro. Right. We thought it was late. We <laughs> was late. <laughs> right. yeah, exactly. Every day yeah. like, we had that same we, thing. We were like, man, I can't see this world going on. Right, right, right. Two more years. Right. Right. Two more years. Right. Right. Jake looking at the calendar like, like, nah, this got to be the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah. about the nuke this bitch. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that chip yeah, coming, man. It's over, man. Yeah, bro. Go ahead. This, uh, <laughs> this uh, Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 2. Right. Oh Lord, I heard thy speech and was afraid. Yep. Oh Lord, revive thy work in the midst of the years. Yep. In the midst of the years, make known. In wrath, remember mercy. Man. That's, hey, that's the spirit we come in, man. Yeah, yeah. bro. And once we heard the, the, the gospel, the testimony of Yahweh Shah, like the elder said, we was, we was right, terrible right, fear, right, man. Right, right, right. We, we were like, fear. shit, like, right. this shit might be happening this weekend. Hell tomorrow. yeah, bro. You're talking about Russia, they already got conflict. They might be nuking this bitch right, next right, week. Right. Yeah, bro. We, were, we was afraid, man. Right. Especially when the um, when the jab took off, yeah, oh, yeah, we, oh, we, yeah. we knew that we knew it, 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 it's, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's at the doors, right? Yeah, it's a wrap. That's why the Lord says, "What patience possesses your soul." Yeah, yeah. we got to yeah. be patient. Yeah. Yeah. We he, get it. Hebrews chapter eleven, verse seven. By faith, Noah, being warned of the Most High, of things not seen as yet, not seen as, as yet. yet. Hey, like, we know the missiles is coming. That's right. We know Jacob's trouble is here. Yep. Mm -hmm. These are things that have not been seen as yet. That's right. But we know it's true. Yep. Read on. Move with fear, yep. prepared an ark to the saving of his house. And that's what we're doing. We're preparing yep. a spiritual ark. Yep. That's why we out here, what, building? Yep. yep. Right? Yep. Warning the elect, giving, uh, giving Israel a warning from the Lord. Save your house. Lord. Come on, man. Doing all these things that are necessary, yep. all right, to be found worthy. By the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness, yep. which is by faith. Exactly. And Noah, and Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord, man. That's right. During the time where the sons of God went off, yep. 
They were given away to uh, idol worship. Yep. The Lord flooded the whole earth. Right, but he spared Noah and his three sons. There you, there you go. And through his three sons is where you get the population of the world today. Definitely. But that, that chosen line, going from Shem all the way down to Arphaxad, Peleg, all the way down to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob still exists on the earth today. Right. And the chosen line was never done away with. Yeah. Right? The sons of power, the sons of God to the Israelites right now. That shows you just in, a, uh, in today's time, like I'm going to that. that the Lord, you know, that's not saying separation. They got, you know, separated from the Lord. That's why right. after a period of time, man, the sons of God kind of forgot about the Lord. Right. He had to reestablish that connection. Right. Exactly. That's what's happening today. Well, I'll just tell her. You know, the Lord, you know, put the spirit on our business to reestablish that connection. Yep. Exactly. This is Hebrews chapter 11, verse 8. Yep. By faith, Abraham, when he was called, to go out into a place which he should have to receive for an for an inheritance. Yeah, the land of Canaan. Yeah. yeah. You gotta realize, man, hey, go to Genesis 12. Hey, Abraham's father, he was a heavy idolater, man. He was in the land of, uh, of Ur, man, which is the Chaldees. Yeah, right. You know, heavy idol worship was going on. You know, so the Lord had Abraham at the time who was known as Abram, who separated from his father to go to a land that you know he didn't know. Right. To worship your how about Chanel was And that's a faith. Yeah. Yeah. To just get up faith. to get up and go. To leave your family. Yep. To Step go to a land faith. you never went before. Yeah. Just off of what the Lord said he's gonna do, man. And Abraham didn't think twice, man. He just yeah. did it. Literally yeah. stepping out on faith. That's it. Hebrews right. eleven and eight, once again. Let me get this Genesis twelve. Right. Genesis chapter twelve, verse one. And now the Lord said unto Abram, Get thee out of the country and go and go from thy kindred and from thy father's house. To a land that I will show you. Yeah, can you imagine that? The Lord calling you out, like, look, get up. <laughs> yeah. Time to go. Yeah. All right, leave your yeah. crib, your family, yeah. and go to where I tell you to go. Yeah. Right? You know what that meant? Abraham was a pilgrim. Mm -hmm. yep. There you go. So you go into what a pilgrim means, it means that a man pretty much going to a uh, spiritual, you know, des destination in so many words, man. Seeking the holy place. Holy place, man. We, we were sent on a mission just like uh, Abraham was, man. Right, 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 right. This is chapter 12, verse 2. And I will make thee, sorry, and I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and will make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. Yep. And I will bless them that are blessed thee, and curse them that curse thee. Yep. In the, and in thee shall thy all families of the earth be blessed. Right, it says in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. All right, now this ain't talking about literally all the nations, right? Because the seed of Abraham, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all right? will be scattered from uh, amongst the world. That's right. That's right. See that? Yeah. But through the uh, the sacrifice of Yahweh Shai, the scattered remnant had a chance to come back into the promises that was bestowed upon Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yeah. So that's really what that's getting into. Right? And they were, and, and, and those Israelite foreigners, those Jakes that, that were scattered abroad, they were able to come back to, into the fold through what? Through faith. That's right. That's right. See that? Gotta have faith. Just like how Abraham was restored back to the legacy, we were restored back to our legacy through faith. That's right. Now we had to. So read that read that part again. Right. This is Genesis chapter uh, 12, verse 3. And it says, And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that cursed thee, and in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Now that word family proved to you that it's not talking about all the nations. Yep. It's uh H uh, 49 40. It says a clan, family, tribe, people, nation, special kinds or aristocrats. Ooh, that's, hey, that's Israel. That's, you know what the aristocrats go to? Yep. The angelic sons of Isaac. Yep. 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 Quick precept to add on to that. Go to Acts 3 and 20, <coughs> 25. Just to add on to that point where he said, Indeed, I shall all the nations be blessed. Yep. Right? That's a beautiful thing Ooh, to be a part of. In the uh, Strong's definition, it says a family, circle of relatives, figuratively, figuratively a class of persons, species of, of animals, of, or sort of thing, by extension, a tribe or people family. So that's strong. Abraham had a that he was, uh, his specific seed line because Abraham had many sons. Exactly. Hold that in Galatians too. Yep. Before we go back, we're gonna make that point. Give me that real quick. This is the book of Acts, chapter three, verse twenty-five. Yep. Ye are the children of the prophets and of the covenant which Yahweh 
thy power made with our fathers. Yeah, the children of the prophets and the covenant that the Lord have made with our fathers. Going back to who? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Saying it to Abraham, and in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. Yeah, this is dealing with the Israelites, man. This is dealing with them Israelites that have been scattered throughout the earth that believe, that have faith, that are able to come back to the fold uh, uh, by faith, man. Yeah, Israelite foreigners. This ain't talking about the natural uh, uh, heathen. Right? They never had a part. They yeah. never had a part in this thing. Exactly. Never, never in the scripture is even made mention of the Lord even giving them a thought. Exactly. The Lord said, out of all the families, Israel, you you are the ones that I have known. Exactly. Paraphrasing that. Not all the uh, That's nations. A cut. You see? Malachi 3 and 6, I the Lord, I change not. Change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. There you go. There's too many cuts. Too many. And can I, can I put go ahead. Verse 26. Yep. Just cut right here. Uh, Acts chapter 3, verse 26. Unto you, the first power, having raised up his son, Yahweh Shah sent him to, be, to bless you and turning away every one of you from his iniquity. Didn't Yahweh Shah, when you go on, uh, what was it, Matthew, the first chapter, 19 verse, it said that that shall be bring a son and it shall stay right. his people. Yeah, you got to one you go. Yeah, save yeah, his people from their iniquity. That's a cut right, right there, man. Right. That's right. Matthew 1 and 21, real quick. This is Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. Yep. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai, yep. for he shall save his people from their sins. Where's the whole world in that? Oh, his yeah. people. He yeah. shall save his people from their sins. Yeah. All right? You see? Right. You Galatians. Galatians chapter 3, verse 6. Even as Abraham believed the Most High, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. It was accounted for him. It was, it was accounted unto him for righteousness. You can read about that in Genesis uh, 15. Right? right? Go ahead. Know ye therefore that they which are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham. Right, which are Israelites. Go ahead. And the scripture, foreseeing that the Most High would justify the heathen through faith, preached before the gospel unto Abraham, saying. Right, so Christians will see that and say, see that? He, he's going to justify the heathen through faith. But these heathen are actually what? The Israelite foreigners. Right. These are the true Gentiles that, that were given the word. Yeah, they were right. the Israelites for the heathen is the state of mind. Thank you. It says, preached before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, Indeed, shall all nations be blessed. Yep. So then, they which be of faith are blessed with uh, faithful Abraham. But the cut to that is in the verse before. It says, Know ye therefore, they that which are of faith are the same of the children of Abraham. Because all you people claiming to be to see the Abraham, you're not fulfilling what Abraham was doing, which was believing the Lord and moving as such, man. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Those are the ones that are the true seed of Abraham, man. The ones that believe in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Right. Read on some more. What was you at your verse? Uh, uh, verse 9. All right, jump down to, um, I want to make the point, jump down to uh, 15. Or jump down to 14 and read through 16. I'm going to read 9 and I'm going to jump down. Let's so then they which would be of faith are blessed with faith of Abraham. I'm going to jump down. Yeah, the Israelites that believe, the, the scattered Israelites that believe yeah. through faith. Go ahead. Jump down 15, 14, 14. Galatians 3 and 14. That the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through the house of that the, the blessing of, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, which are what the Israelite foreigners, right? Who believed? That's how that's how the Israelite foreigners were accounted. Uh, 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 their, their faith was uh, was for. That's how the Israelite foreigners were able to come in through faith. They believed on Yahweh Shah. They had access through faith. They have more faith than the actual uh, Jews in the land. And that's why it was opened up. Excuse me, say it was opened up to them. Yep. Read yep. on. That we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Brethren, I speak after the manner of men, though it be with a man's covenant, yet if it be confirmed, no man disannul it or add it there to No, no man can disannul it or add to the covenant as, that was already established with our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And that cuts supersessionism. Replacement theology, how they say, look, the church has replaced the Jews in the covenant with the Heavenly Father. Yeah. Right? Exactly. Romans 9 and uh, uh was it Romans 9, 1 through 5 cuts that. Who are the Israelites that have been given the adoption, the promises, the right. covenants, the giving of the law? Right? That's right. That never changed. Well, that goes back to the Old Testament, Amos 3. Of you of the, uh, have I known of all the families of the earth. Yes. Only Israel. That Psalms 187. Uh, it's like the 147, 19 and 20. That's it. 
no, no other nation has known the Lord because we have the law of the commandment. That's it, right? Okay. Verse 16, Galatians 3, it says, now Read it 15 again, Salah. Right. Galatians 3, 15, Brethren, I speak after the manner of men, though it, it be but a man's covenant, yet if it be confirmed, no man disannul it. No man can right. disannul the covenant. Right. It can't be changed. It can't be altered. Read on. Or add a fair to it. But you can't add to it. And with these Christians, they're trying to add yeah, themselves add, add, add into something that, that they're not a part of. Right. Lord said, do not add or take away. That's what you see amongst the uh, Christian church. Right. Now to Abraham and his seed. And now to Abraham and his seed. Right? Where the promises made. And what seed was that? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right. Go ahead. He, he saith not, and to seeds as of, of many. Yeah, not to everybody. Go ahead. But as of one. And to thy seed, which is Hamashiach. Right. So the promises, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. You can never get away from that. Sirach 44, add on to that. Sirach 44, 19 to 23, real quickly. We'll go back to what we were told. And he was 11. All right, Spirit got us going into Abraham. So, I got one real quick before you get that. It'll show you what he's only doing with Israel. Right. All right. This is uh, first, uh, so I can, second Ezra. Chapter 5, verse 23. And said, O Lord, that bearest rule of every wood of the earth and of all the trees thereof, thou hast chosen thee one only vine. And of all lands of the whole world, thou hast chosen thee one fig. And of all the flowers thereof, one lily. And of all the depths of the sea, thou hast filled thee one river. And of all builded cities, thou hast hallowed Zion unto thyself. So proving that hey the Lord he has favor man and he his favor is Israel. That's right. All right. That's the only thing he cares about on the earth. Man. That's right. Right. Those things say I the Lord power I change not. That's right. So these sons of Jacob are not to be Right. right. And he, if you hear Zion, Jacob, you know, uh, daughter of Israel, all that. That's only dealing with the Israelites. Yeah. Right. This is the book of Sirach, chapter forty-four, verse nineteen. Abraham was a great father of many people, and glory was there none like unto him who kept the law of the Most High and was in a covenant with him. He established a covenant in his flesh. And when he was proved, he was found faithful. Yeah, going back to uh, circumc circumcision, yep. right? Verse 21, therefore he assured him by an oath that he would bless the nations and his seeds. Right, because another point too, Abraham believed before the circumcision was established. Right, read on. Mm -hmm. And it says, and that, and that he will multiply him as a dust of the earth yep. and exalt his seed as the stars and cause them to inherit from sea to sea yep. and from river unto the uttermost parts of the land. That's the whole world, man. Yep. Right, go ahead. Verse 22. With Isaac did he establish likewise for Abraham his father sake the blessing of all men and the covenant and made it rest upon the head of Jacob. Woo, and the covenant and made it rest upon the head of Jacob anymore. Mm -hmm. And he says, he acknowledged him and his blessing and gave him an inheritance and divided his portions among the 12 tribes and did he part mm -hmm. them. That's mm -hmm. too many cuts. Here's, here's mm -hmm. another one. Mm -hmm. Genesis 17 in verse six, it says, and I will make thee an exceeding fruitful and I will make thee exceedingly fruitful and I will make the nations of thee and I will make nations of thee and kings shall come out of thee. Right? Which is what? The kings uh, dealing with what? The kings of Jacob. Yep, yep. Right? Mm -hmm. It says, okay, and establish my covenant between me and thee, and thy seed after thee, yep. in the generations for an everlasting covenant, to be a power unto thee, and into thy seed after yep. thee. Right? So this is the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yep. Yep. Even on this 44, that was because he said, and made his rest upon the head of Jacob. And who's the head of the tribe? Who? Judah. And we were brought back through the house. Right. 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 And what's right, your bro. point of what you made about you said Abraham believed before the covenant was established. Yeah, the circumcision. I mean, like the circumcision. Like Genesis 14 and 18. And King Melchizedek, king of Salem, yep. brought forth bread and wine, and he was the priest of the Most High God. And he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abram of that Most High power, blessed the possessor of heaven and earth, and blessed be the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, which have delivered thine enemies into thy hand, he gave him tithes of all. So, hey, Abram 
game uh, about championship times, man, was yep. pretty much, you know, him acknowledging the, uh, the priesthood in the heaven. Exactly. That's right. That's right. Yeah, because he paid tithes to Melchizedek when Levi was still in his loins. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So he understood that there was a, uh, uh, like you said, a priesthood in the, in the heavens. Because who was Melchizedek in the reincarnation? Exactly. Exactly. Right. Right. Exactly. Right. Not giving that record. Right. Right. That's why he told the, uh, the Jews that he said, uh, what did he say? He said, uh, damn, let me get that. He said that, uh, the, that your fathers would have rejoiced to see me or something like that. Oh, I got it right here. He said, before Abraham, I was. Right? So this is um, John chapter 8 and verse 56. And it reads, it says, your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day. And he saw it and was glad, all right, because he was blessed by Melchizedek, right? It says, well, ultimately it was Yahweh Shah, mm -hmm. right? That's why he said I'm before, he said I'm before of, uh, uh, he said my goings are before everlasting, yeah. right? Verse 57, then said the Jews unto him, thou art, thou art not yet 50 years old, and hast thou seen Abraham? <laughs> right over there. Right, and we're right over the head. <laughs> Verse 58. Yahweh Shah said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, before Abraham was, was I am. You see that? Yeah. See? Yahweh Shah is from the beginning, man. It tells you that in, uh, was it Micah? Micah, the fifth chapter? He's before everlasting, before the days are old. Right? So he was visited, Abraham was visited by Melchizedek, man. The first, uh, uh, the first high priest in the heavens. Yeah. Right before the prophets. Right? Abraham paid tithes. See? Go ahead, we go back. You told us something? Uh, that Hebrew. Yeah, let's go back to that. Yep. This is Hebrews chapter 11, verse 7. By faith, Noah, being warned of the Most High, of things not seen as yet, yep. moved, moved with fear, That's right. prepared in heart to the saving of his house, uh -huh. by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness, which is by faith. That's right, go ahead. Hebrews 11 and 8. By faith, Abraham when he was called to go out into a place which he would, which he should after receive for an inheritance, obey. And he went out, not knowing whither, whither he went. Verse 9. By faith he sojourned in the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. Yeah, those are those seeds that we were reading about. Right? Go ahead. Verse 10. For he looked for a city which he hath foundations, whose builder and maker is the Most High. Through faith also, Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed, and was delivered of a child when she was past age. Exactly. Because she judged him faithful who had promised. Right, so she believed because what? Abraham believed. God. Go ahead. Therefore spring there even of one, and and him as good as dead. Right, because hey, Abraham was an old, he was an old age. Yep. He was up in age, Sarah yeah. was too. Yeah, 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 yeah I believe I so. so, yep, yep. So many as the stars of the sky in multitudes, and as the sand, which is by the seashore, innumerable. <coughs> These all died in faith, yep. not having received the promises. Yeah, they didn't receive the promises, but they, they're going to receive the promises. That's right. Right? But having seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them. Yeah, because they believed. Yep. They saw it afar off, they believed, and they and they trusted in the Lord. That's right. Read on. And were persuaded of them and embraced them and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on, on the earth. Yep, go ahead. Verse 14. For they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country. And truly, if if they had been mindful of that country from which they came out, they might have they might have had opportunity to have returned. Right. But now they desire a better country that is and heavenly, wherefore the Most High is not ashamed to be called their power, for he hath prepared for them a city. Yeah, that's the kingdom of heaven, man. All right, and in Hebrews 13 and what, 14? Right. We have no continuous city here, but we seek one to come. That's right. That's Get right. that one in 2nd Ezra 8 and 52. Right. All right, it talks about how the Lord has prepared the kingdom. The heavenly city is roughly paraphrased like second after eight fifty-two. Right, just this is written something like that. Yeah, read that. Second Ezra chapter eight, verse fifty-two. 
For unto you is paradise open, yep. the tree of life is planted. Yeah, which is really this knowledge. Mm -hmm. Right, read on. Mm -hmm. The time is come to prepare it, and plentiness is made ready. Plentiness is made ready, as we just read here. Read on. A city is built and rest is allowed. A city is built and rest is allowed. That's yep. the kingdom. Yep. Go ahead. Yeah, perfect goodness and wisdom. That is it. That's it right there. That's what I want. Yep. yep. Matter of fact, read some more. Read some more. Let's look at more, right? Come. It says the root of evil was sealed up from you. Weakness in the mouth, in the mouth of the is hid it's from you. It, so right. it says, "For unto you is paradise open." That's the point. For unto you, paradise is open. Yep. Go ahead. The tree of life is planted. Yep. The time is to come to prepare, and plentiness is made ready. A city is built, and rest is allowed. You have perfect. Goodness and wisdom. Yeah, that's it. That's all we needed. That's the point. So let's go back to that now. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 17. By faith, Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac. And he that had received the promises offered up his only begotten son. Right, because Abraham, how, how many sons Abraham had? He had, uh, I believe he had about six sons? Yeah. Was it eight sons? It's a lot here. Uh, right? Because it said, let's re read that again. This is Hebrews. Chapter 11, verse 17. By faith, yeah, Abraham. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, he, he had Ishmael, he had Isaac, that's two, and then he had uh he had six other sons from um, his uh concubine, what's her name? Uh Keturah, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, right? But the thing is, this talks about his only begotten son, which was Isaac, which we know to be uh Yahweh Shah. There you go. Right? Read that again for me, y'all. Hebrews chapter eleven, verse seventeen. By faith, Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac. Yep. And he that and he that had received the promises offered up his only begotten son. Right, because he was tested. That's right. Get that in Genesis 22. Because this is what this is referring to. Yep. Genesis 22 and read verses uh, 7 and 8. Yep. Right? Abraham's faith was tested. Yep. Right? It's proving that the Lord going to try you, man. <laughs> Genesis 22 and 7. And Isaac's faith... I was speaking to Abraham, his father, and said, My father, and he said, Here I am, my, uh, my son. And he said, Behold, the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? Right. And Abraham said, My son, the Most High will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went together, so they went both of them together, and they came to the place which the Most High had told him of. Abraham built an altar there, and laid the wood in order, and bound Isaac the son, and laid him on the altar upon the wood. Right, so ultimately Abraham believed that the Lord was going to do something. And as we're going to read, Abraham believed that he could raise Isaac back up from the dead. And that requires big faith. Major faith. Now also was symbolic of Isaac, you know, preparing to do that sacrifice when he came back into the house. Exactly. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Notice he didn't, he didn't buck up, he didn't fight, just as a sheep. You know, you know, they don't fight back. Right. It says, and Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here I am. And he said, Lay not thy hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest the Most High, seeing thou hast not withheld. My, uh, thy son, thy only son from me. Right, so Abraham passed the test. Yep. Right, and like the brother was saying, this is foreshadowing the sacrifice of Yahweh shot, man. Yep. Because it wasn't time for him to be sacrificed yet. Man. Right. right, this is the, uh, this, this is like the build up to it. Yep. The prelude, yep. so to speak. Yeah, imagine Abraham's position, man. That was his own, he, he, got, he was up in age like that. That was his only son. The Lord was like, yo, sacrifice your son. Most niggas ain't doing that. Yeah. You know, that's my only son. I done, I done lived this long life. I finally got one. You talking about killing? Niggas ain't gonna do that. that. That shows you how how much the Lord, you know, he, uh, Abraham believed in the Lord. Right? Faith. Faith. It says, and Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. Abraham went and took the ram, offered him up for a burnt side, a burnt offering. Of his son. Exactly, that's the faith because he told his son, his son was like, Isaac was like, look, where's basically, where's right, the right, lamb at? Right, right, right. Where's the lamb for the offering? He it said, was him. He, and it was him, but he, and Abraham told him, like, look, the Lord is going to do something, basically. Yeah, yeah. And that was the faith that the Lord, uh, that Abraham had in the Lord. 
See that? Man, that's a heavy sword. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 18. Of whom it was said that in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Yep. Accounting that the Most High was able to raise him up, even from the dead. Right. He, Abraham had Abraham had serious faith. He believed that no matter what happened, that the Most High will raise Isaac up from the dead. Matter of fact, somebody read that in this verse in NLT. Go ahead. Continuing on. For which also he received him in a figure. Right. Which because because Isaac was Yahweh in the spirit. Yep. Uh, yeah, uh, read uh, Genesis. Uh, I'm sorry. Hebrews 11 and verse 19. Ready for now? Yep, go ahead. Uh, this is Hebrews 11, 19 in the NLT. Abraham reasoned that if Isaac died, the most I will, will be able to bring, bring him back to life again. Woo! And in a sense, in a sense, Abraham did receive his son back from the dead. Yeah, he did, because he was that was your hollow shot. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Real quick, I want to get this too. This is, uh, bear with me. All right, this is 1 Corinthians. Um, Salakia. Yeah, 1 Corinthians 15 and verses 12 through 18. Because basically, the raising of the dead is, is tied back to the faith of Abraham as well. Right? 1 Corinthians 15 and 12. I start at 11. 1 Corinthians 15 and 11, it says, Therefore, whether it, whether I or they, so we preach, and so ye believe. Now, if Yahweh Shai be preached that he rose from the dead, how say among you that there is no resurrection of the dead? But if there be no resurrection of the dead, then it, then, then is Yahweh Shai not risen. Verse 14, And if Yahweh Shai be not risen, then our preaching is vain. Yeah. And, and your faith is and, and your faith is also vain. See that? Yep. But we know that what? That Yahweh Shah was raised. Yep. He was raised from the dead. Yep. Our faith is not in vain. Yep. These yep. things happen. Yep. Right? Right. You know? Our labor is not in vain. Exactly. The work that we're doing, it requires faith. Right. Yep. So it's not in vain. Yep. And we've been given the same faith as our forefather Abraham. Yep. Right. That, that gives us access back to what? The promises, man. That's right. That's the Come on, man. Yeah. Right. Let's get back in that. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 19, accounting that the Most High was able to raise him up, even from the dead, yep. from which also he received him in a figure. Yep. Verse 20. Because hey, Isaac was your house shy. Go ahead. Verse 20. By faith, Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come. Yep. By faith, Jacob, when he was a dying, when he was a dying, blessed both the sons of Joseph and worshipped him. Uh, and worship, Salakia, yep. leaning upon the top of his staff. By faith, Joseph, when he died, made mention of the departing of the of the children of Israel and gave commandment concerning his bones. Oh, yeah. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hid three months of his parents because they saw he was a proper child and they were not afraid of the king's commandment. That's right. By faith, Moses, when he was come to years refused to be called the son of pharaoh's daughter yeah that's his integrity man yeah yep. right the scriptures tell you that get that in um where it says they uh matter of fact read verse 25 so like God. hebrews chapter 11 verse 25 <laughs> choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of the most high than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season yeah that's real integrity man Hell Moses yeah. had integrity man Hell yeah and he, he he basically forfeited his position it's basically what, like second command? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To basically. suffer with his people, man. Yeah, bro. And that and that took faith. Yeah. Moses believed. Right. Right? Let me get that real quick. Let me see. Uh, that's Exodus. Bear with me. Exodus 2. I want to say Exodus 2 and uh. Hey, that showed you the, the integrity of Moses too. Scripture said that he'd rather, you know, uh, uh, pretty much suffer than to pretty much rule, and, uh, rule with the Egyptians, man. You yeah. know? Hey, he could have easily been, you know, had a good life right. living as a pharaoh son, man. Yeah. He forsook all that so that uh, he could, you know, help help his people. Keep suffer suffer with his people. Right. That's right. Uh, yeah, bring, bring it up. This is uh, Numbers chapter 12, verse uh, 6. And he said, Hear now my words, if there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in a vision. 
and will speak unto him in a dream. My servant Moses is so not, so my servant Moses is not so whom the faithful in all my house. And it shows that Moses is, is faithful, man. The Lord looked at Moses and always had faith, man. Especially in the times that he was coming into, man, like the uh, elder was saying, based on second in command, and he knew what, the, what his people was going through, and he chose to suffer with his people. That showed for a faith, man. And a lot of, a lot of niggas ain't gonna do that. Oh. Yeah, he was in a high position of power. And niggas, niggas ain't giving up their status now to come out here and teach. Niggas, Kanye West, all these niggas, they not about to give up their status of this society to come out on the house and teach, man. That's why that terrible written in the book of the Prophets, man. I'm not going to go like this. I'm telling you, niggas, this man is coming to the city of Manhattan. Yeah. 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 Hebrews chapter 11 verse 45 Choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of the Most High than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Exactly, because hey, Egypt went down. Yeah. Right? The Lord got rid of Egypt. Yeah. Right? right? So Moses through integrity and ultimately through faith right? he chose to suffer with his people to suffer the glory or to, to uh, to have the pleasures of sin for a little season. Right? right? That's a real man. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 26. Esteeming the reproach of Hamashiach, greater riches than the treasures in Egypt. Exactly. Esteeming the reproach of Yahweh Shai, Shai, greater riches than the treasures of Egypt. Yeah. Right? And are we not in the same spirit? We're seeing the bigger picture. We're seeing the bigger picture. The hell was spirits of Egypt on this side. America, we understand we have a much more or I was going to say a far more exceeding way to glory. Yep, yep. That's why the scriptures say we count all things lost and we count us out of our shit We understand that this world is tangible. It's about to pass away. Right. It's temporal. The kingdom of heaven is forever. Exactly. We're going to have eternal life, everlasting. We're going to have to get the rest. You've got to have faith. You've got to have faith in it. You've got to have faith in it. Right. That's what they're talking about. That's what they're talking about. That's a gift, and that gift was to give it to all men. That gift was to give it to all men. Exactly. exactly. That's why the scriptures also say that uh, where a man's heart is, his treasure should be there also. Right. See that? Go ahead. Hebrews chapter 11, uh, verse 27. By faith he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. Exactly. The Lord was with Moses. Yeah. Through all the trials, through all the... Uh, Tribulation, right? The hearting of Pharaoh's heart. Niggas. Right? The niggas, yeah. Jake. Hey, hey, hey. You know? Oh, yeah. Right? Hebrews chapter 11, verse 28. Through faith, he kept the Passover. Yeah, through faith, he kept the Passover. Go ahead. And the sprinkling of blood. Least, least he that destroyed the firstborn should touch them. Right, that's why you have to put the door, the blood on the doorpost. Yep. Right? So the death angel will pass over. Right. Right? That took faith. Absolutely. Right? By faith, they passed through the Red Sea as by dry land, which the Egyptians are saying to do were ground. Yeah, the Lord destroyed the Egyptians, man. Right? It took faith, man. The Lord used the Lord used Moses, the Alba Shinal used Moses to depart the Red Sea. To, to deliver us out of the hands of Pharaoh, man. Right. Take saw the uh Jake saw the miracles, man. Right? And we are in these days now. Yep. We're seeing the miracles as well. The prophecy said, exactly. I don't know. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 30. Our America has the ability to pull us again to get to these things through the day, man. And it's going to be on the way to say, we don't think we're going to be able to get some bills paid, man. Get through the day, man. Those are miracles in these days, man. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 30. By faith, the walls of Jericho fell down after they were compassed about seven days. Exactly. That's a faith to go around to, uh, uh, to march around the city. Continue. Continue. Walking around seven days. Right. That's faith, man. Everybody probably thought it was crazy. Right. Just, like, <clears throat> just like now, everybody said we crazy. Right? <coughs> Hebrews chapter 11, verse 31. By faith, the harlot Rahab Perish, perish not with them that believe not. When she had received the spies with peace. Right, right. She told the spies 
then basically all the land fears of what your power did to the nation. So the power of the spirit. Right? Hebrews chapter 11, verse 32. And what shall I more say? For the time would fail me to tell, to tell of Gideon and of Barak and of Samson and of Jephthah, and of, of David also and Samuel of the prophets, who through faith subdued kingdoms. All, it said all them through faith subdued kingdoms. Right. For righteousness obtained promises stop the mouth of lions, quench the violence of fire. Escaped the edge of the sword. Yep. How the weakness were made strong. Yep. Waxed valiant in fight. Yep. Took turn to flight the armies of the aliens. Yeah, there you go. So this is all done through faith, man. Right through faith, the Lord is going to do wonders, man. Right. The Lord told us that, that through faith, you shall move mountains. Yep. Uh, come on, man. Get that. Somebody get that for me real quick. Uh, finish off the verse. Uh, finish off the top. All right. Oh, you can't. I gotta get some water. Yeah, man. Fucking hell, bro. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 35. Verse 34. Point the violence of fire. Escape the edge of the sword. Out of weakness were made strong. Wax valiant in fight. Turn to fight the army of the aliens. Women received their dead. Women received their dead raised to life again and others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, that they might obtain a better resurrection. And others had trial of cruel mockers and scourges, yea, moreover of bonds and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sawn asunder, were tempted, were slain with the sword. They wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and in mountains and in dens and caves of the earth. And these all, having obtained a good report through faith, received not the promise. The Most High, the Most High having provided some better thing for us, that they without us should not be made perfect. Right, so that's the point, man. Just dealing with the necessity of faith. And how big faith is going to be required in these times as we enter into them. Yeah. The time of the straight gate, the time of the bitter time to take his trouble, man. Right? Right. right. That's one of the main things. Right. How about you now, Sean? About to decide that I'm going to die. Right. Who's getting enough faith? Right. Right. Yeah, I got the Matthew. Matthew 7, 20. And how will I say unto them? Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, remove it to yonder place. shall be impossible unto you. Woo, see, through faith, nothing is going to be impossible. And that's the mindset we got to have as we enter into these uh, very dark, evil times, man. The yep. Lord going to make food appear out of air, man. Yep. He going to put you in positions to win, man. Yep. But, it, but it requires faith, Jake. All right? Verse 21, finishing it out. How be it this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. Yep. Yep. Having faith, man. That's what it's all about. You know, it ain't about just keeping all the laws. First of all, you can't keep all the laws 100%. You gotta have faith in your hollow bars from your hollow side. That's what's going to get us out of it. Precept, just to add on to that. Acts 13, no man justified by the law. Right. Right, Acts 13, in verse 38, and it reads, Be it known 
Be it known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, that through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins. He's talking about Yahweh Shah. Yep. Verse 39. And by him, and by him all that believed are justified from all things, from which you could not be justified by the law of Moses. Yo. So it ain't about keeping the law one percent, man. It's about that faith, man. And you ain't gonna be able to keep it anyways. And the guys that say they keep that, they keep the law one percent, they're lying, man. And even if, even if you, you go by that, you if you say you keep all the laws, then what do you mean to have a side Exactly. Right. Because like exactly. we said, man, this whole thing is faith based, man. Yep. All right? Because as the scripture was so hard to read, all right, we gotta walk fully on off, off our faith the Lord's gonna make money for it, man. Exactly. So, I was bring this out and give it again. This is from uh, this PDF that we have found. It says, as I see it, this is the way God works. He purposely and deliberately works in a way that contradicts the, the way men reason. We must have an environment of impossibility so he commits to work. That is simply the way the most I is, and it is the manner in which he works. Lord's gonna put you in a position where you, you may go, no, how you get out of it? That's what the Most High is going to show you power. He showed you that right here is the one true living power. Good precept. Psalms 37, verse 25, and it reads, it says, I have been young and now old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging for bread. Right. No. So the Lord ain't going to allow, the Lord, the Lord ain't going to allow his, his uh, servants to be left out to dry. Exactly. This is what King David said. Oh, See? This wisdom of Solomon chapter 3 verse 9. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. And that's what you see with the, the men of the Lord, man. Understand the truth, man. You go in St. John 16 and 13. He said, uh, truth, truth, his truth shall God be. He said, the Lord shall God be unto all truth, man. And that's you put your trust in the Lord. And it says, and such be as faithful and love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to the saints who have care for his elect. Right, his elect. He have care right. for his elect. Right. That's, what, That's what this is about. Because the elect know that hey, this is the Lord's movement at the yeah. end of the day, man. Yep. And the Lord likes the dramatic shit, man. Yep. That's yeah. what makes the movie good, man. Right. Yep. This is uh, Sirach 19 and 20. The fear of the Lord is all wisdom. And in all wisdom is the performance of the law and the knowledge of the omnipotence. And we know the word omnipotence. Omnipotency means that the Lord is everywhere. He's in everything. Yeah. He's all knowing, all seeing, all powerful. So the Lord, He's in control of all this, man. So yep. the fear of the Lord, man. Get right to the point. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. The fear of the Lord is yeah. yeah. pretty much what's right. helping. It's going to help us in that day. So we know the Lord is always with us. That's, That's right. Now, I got one. This is uh, Matthew chapter 8. It's a test for Yeah. I'll run over there, man. Make sure they keep it up. This is Matthew chapter 8, verse 20. Oh, my phone. I my heart, my heart. You got the phone? Yeah, 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 that's all good. Just make sure brothers keep that composure, man. Draw attention to the word on this too. his ass straight to the camp. This Matthew chapter 8, verse 20. Exactly. This Matthew chapter 8, verse 20. And Yahweh Shah said to him, The foxes have holes and the birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man have nowhere to lay his head. And he says, Another of his disciples said unto him, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. But the Lord, and the Yahweh Shah said to him, follow me and let the dead bury the dead. And that's why you gotta have faith here in the last days, man, because you understand we're gonna be as criminals upon the earth, man. That's why Yahweh Shah said, the, the foxes that hold, has holes and the birds have nests, but the son of man has nowhere to lay his head. Walkers, hey, you gotta be in this pretty house shop, moving by faith in the time of coming to you. And he says, and when he had entered into the ship, the disciples followed him, and behold, there arose a great tempest in the sea, and such as much that the ship was covered with waves, but he was asleep. And the disciples came to him and waked him, and saying, Lord, save us, we perish. And he said to him, Why are you fearful? Ye are a little of faith. And that's what the Lord said to us. Why are you fearful, man? You should be in the state of fear. The Most High said, "What? I didn't give you the spirit of fear, but the spirit of a sound mind." Right. The Most High gave us His wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to be prepared for the time of Jacob's trouble, man. Sure. This is the, what the Lord is doing. He's separating us from these from these niggas, man. There you go. He's separating us from the world and preparing us for the time of Jacob's trouble, man. To suck with Him in the, in the time of, of uh, affliction. And He says, He says, "Why are you fearful, ye little of faith?" 
Then he arose and rebuked the way, the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. So you gotta understand, man, during the times we're coming into, the most high is gonna always be with us, man. As the scriptures say, he'll be with us to the what? The ends of the world, man. Yeah. These ages are gonna come out. It's the time. Yeah, it's the time. So yeah, we we didn't we didn't hit. Let's let's get a few more scriptures to wrap it up. So I just want to add on that precept the brother was talking about. This is Matthew 20. All right. Matthew 20 and verse 28. Right. Or is it Matthew 28 verse 20? Slide. Oh, uh, is the world. It's a lot here. Yeah, this Matthew 28, verse 20. Red letter Yahweh Shah speaking, it says, teaching them to observe all the things whatever, whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Yeah, right. yeah. and that's the times we're in now, man. Even, even unto the ends of the world, man. We're at the end, we're at the end of the age. The word Eon, end of who? He world, Esau, Edom. So by the times we're coming to, this is the time you gotta be tapping the spirit of your Yahweh Shah, man. Making your call and election sure, man. Being diligent, man. That's right. We're coming in the time when the Most High is about to separate from men and women. Right. Mm -hmm. This is uh, 2 Samuel chapter 22, verse 31. As for Yahweh, his way is perfect. The word of Yahweh is tried. He is a buckler, buckler, buckler unto all that put their trust in him. Hey, man, he's our buckler and shield, man. And he's our refuge, man. That's why you got to put your trust in your how about you shot. As the elder was going into Hebrews 11 chapter, Sirach the second chapter, no one's confounded to put their trust in how about you shot. Who has the most high ever uh, left, uh, basically left for, for destruction? Roughly paraphrase, none. You read through all the, all the scriptures and all the examples that the elder was going to. The most high always made a way out of nothing. Always. Always, man. Anything's impossible to how about you shot. I'm going more now in this time. Because we're coming in the time of what Daniel's the second, Daniel's the 12th chapter, man. First verse, man. A time they've never seen since since we've been a nation. Right. It's gonna be worse. It's gonna be worse than 78 AD, worse than slavery. Yeah. It's gonna be a time where hey, a man had not seen a bond. Jeremiah, Jeremiah 30 chapter 20. Mm -hmm. right. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 30. Verse 7. It says, At last, for that day is great, so that there is none like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Man. Right. Which is the elect, and that's going to require what? Big faith. Yep. Right? You're talking at the time, you're talking about a time of hunger, yep. people dying of starvation, yep. right? All these different things, man. All right, the, the lights going out, not having no power, electricity. Yeah. See what I'm saying? So faith is what's going to be ultimately required to survive, man. Yeah, man. You're going to have to trust in your Hall about Shemel and Shah. You're going to have to believe in those names, man. There you go. Right? You have to pass this test right, right man. Here. Yep. As you, as you what? Revelation 3 and 10? Yep. This is the hour of temptation. This, this test is going to be brought upon the whole world. Yeah, right. Everybody. Gonna Everybody's going to be tested with this new, this new wave that we saw either to bring it forth, man. This new beast, the beast system yeah. that's about to be given. Speaking, right. speaking loud and clear, man. So yeah, man. With that, man, hey, we pray that this camp was edifying, man. Hey, you brothers and sisters out there, keep the faith, man. This is, that's what's going to be required to get through these times, man, to make it about a battle on the great. That's right. So we pray that this camp was edifying. We want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Yahweh, Yahweh, Double honors to the apostles and elders. The great millstone who taught us the truth. Double salutations to all you I came out there laboring in the house of David, the elect. Let's push this word with all truth, righteousness, and sincerity. Shalom to you, brothers. Shalom. 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 Shalom.